Hello, hello, and good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's an afternoon. Feels like morning to me, but that's because I'm kind of a night owl. Anyway, uh, I don't usually stream, but I want to play a little bit more Witch Hand. And so I figured I'd, I'd stream the process rather than trying to have it as a YouTube video. I like the fact that there are nine save slots. So, uh, we're going to be starting, uh, so... I've played this witch, I've played this witch, I have not played the Cupcake Witch, the Culinary Witch, and I want to see what she does. So, uh, Witches of the Fourth cook well-balanced meals that boost the abilities of their familiars and villages. That sounds fun, because yeah, I, I played a bunch of the Chaos Witch, and I think I broke my save file, I have like too many things and it won't load anymore. I should probably play this at some point, but eh. So what do, you, what do we have for this? Ooh, Moondrop Rate. So we can actually increase... The quantity of these. I'm gonna just increase my starting area size. I think everything else is fine. I could increase the amount of moon drops I get, but after a certain point, you really don't need to worry about it anymore. Hey, Wonderbot, you're the best. Well, thank you. Thank you, Galaxy Pants. <laughs> that is a good username. Cooking is boring. Hey, now. A lack of innovation within the culinary witches of the fourth have turned the art of cooking into a mundane chore. That changed when you received a shipment of strange new fruits from the Ninth Realm. The sudden lifting of the Ninth's haze has revealed a buffet of untapped flavor possibilities waiting for you to taste them. Establish a foothold in the Ninth, experiment with new ingredients, and discover meals to magically boost your villages and your familiars. Defend against the evil of the Ninth and, if need be, serve its source a delicious helping of death. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. So if you guys haven't seen this before, it is a card-based... Uh, I guess it, uh, city builder, settlement builder. Uh, it's kind of like a, a cross between, uh, stack lands and, I don't know, something a little bit more 4 xy So create with a land, land card to get more. I forget. How do we speed up? There we go. Okay. I'm just going to start coordinating these. Purchase new explore cards with star drops. So we're going to have to buy, let's see, I forget. Delete. I wonder if there's a way that I can... Okay, shift-click to auto-purchase one of these. There we go. Here's the question. Can I can I change a control? Controls. So, card lock is that. Sell is backspace. What if it's Q? There. That should make it a lo little easier for me to sell stuff. Yes. Yeah, so what we're looking for at this point is a land card so I can make my first town. I can't do anything until uh, until I actually have some towns to work with. Okay, I uh, guess explore. Let's just sell that. Buy two of these. We do have to watch out. Enemies will come and attack me at some point, and that's going to be an issue. I don't know if we have to worry about uh, particularly bad groups of enemies. There we go. Do we want a forest? I think forests are fine. I forget the specific benefit of a forest or not. But mostly we want to just get to the point where I can start making alchemists. So it's forest spell, slotted potion speed. Okay, that's exactly what we, what we want. So we want a couple of crystals and we're just going to make a pair of al alchemists so I can just pump out potions. Because potions can be used to unlock new spells and they can be used to... Um, let's see... They can be used to sell. They're worth two each, so I might as well just grab a bunch of them. Being a line cook is indeed boring. Garnish the 20th bowl of spaghetti in the past hour gets very repetitive. That I can... That I could get behind. But, like, when you're just cooking for yourself or as an experiment or whatever, cooking can be kind of fun, actually. Um, I guess I'm just going to get rid of that. Or can I not? Oh. Okay, there we go. It wouldn't let me get rid of that. Let's see, a letter arrives from your home realm. Okay, letter from the fourth. Chef, how's the ninth realm treating you? Better question, how's the food? Bet you've already gathered countless new ingredients and cooked meals I could never even dream of. Yes, I'm jealous, okay? Oh, yeah, make sure you defeat the void or whatever the whatever it is the council wants. Just tack that on to the end of your end of your grocery list. You've got cooking to do. So I'd like to unlock a new spell. Sure, we'll learn the mana extractor spell. Let's also get the crystals quarry spell because we want to get that kind of ASAP. Okay, and amusingly enough, 
I can sell that letter. I'm a bad man. I think we're just going to want to sell a potion so I can actually start exploring again. Okay, so we have a witching hour. Summon a familiar, be rewarded. I don't even know how to do that, so that's just going to go elsewhere and we're not even going to think about it. But yeah, uh, cultist simulator, like, yeah, it's probably, you could argue, the root, root game for both Stacklands and this, but I don't know. I'm not going to get into too big of a quibble over like, oh, this is one way or another. So we do have to worry about the Voidlings, but at least we have the Healing Touch spell and Void Salts, which we don't need right now. Okay, let's learn this. We want to do Training Camp. Where's my Summon Familiar? Let's just learn Herbalist for the time being. Maybe I already know how to do it. Pause. We do. Summon Familiar, Mana Reagents, and Witch. Okay. Sucks a bit. I guess I'm just gonna put that in. Because now we got a moon drop and some other things. Uh, I'll probably just sell the... sell this potion. And we'll keep exploring. Because I want to get a crystal mine. I need to do a lot of things here. Okay, market training camp, population growth. Which actually is probably one of the more useful ones, because we want to expand the size. Ninth, ninth honey. Oh, that's a new one. Cooking ingredients. Let's get the population growth spell so I can actually extend this. This is going to get really messy really fast. Recipe. Honeyed treat. Okay. Don't know what that does yet. Wait for those to go. Put them back. Move the reagents. Stack crystals. I'd like to make one crystal quarry if possible. Zzz. Do I want to? No, I don't want to get rid of reagents. Can I just do that? Yeah. Messy, but it works. I'm probably just going to keep selling some of my potions until we actually are underway. Okay, let's take this off. Pop population growth in here. Move them down here. I'm going to need to store a bunch of things, I suppose. Let's put the crystal quarry in. So that'll get us a consistent source of crystals that we can use to turn into mana or really any number of other things. Okay, cauldron. I don't think we have a cauldron yet. Pause? We do have a mountain, though. That's useful. We might want to figure out how to make another beacon. Beacons are three moon drops, so fine. I'll do that quest. Okay, Healing Touch, Mana Extractor, Summon Familiar. Oh, Cauldron Spell. Three Crystals and a Witch. Okay, Faded Quest. Defeat an enemy, be rewarded. Don't know about that one. Two unique ingredients and a witch here to cook a meal. So, Honey Treat. We need Gem Fruit. I don't think we've figured out how to do that yet. Let's just put the potions here. Crystal... There, population growth over here. Do we actually want to do one more population growth so I could fit the mana extractor or herbalist? I think so. I'd like to get the mountain down, but that's going to be more expensive. So towns can go up to six slots, and to some degree, we kind of want to just get as many slots on this singular town first, because getting an actual beacon down takes some time and effort. And we can make do without. So do I want to... Do I want to try and put in a pair of ninth honey? Maybe. Okay, keep those there. I'm just going to start storing lands. Because we can grind them up into reagents later. Moon is full. Offers a boon for a price. Okay, so this golden quest, 20 coins here, be rewarded. That's doable. Yeah, it's that's actually very doable. I'm probably going to keep exploring because I think that has a overall benefit. Let's try making a honeyed treat just to see what that does. So is this game inspired by Stacklands? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so we have Honey Treat, two health, 
to the witch or familiar. Ah, I was hoping for a stat boost, but that's probably too much to ask. Okay, so we're going to go back, check the runes. At least we have a consistent source of healing that does not require us to use Silver Sage. Or not Silver, well, Reagents specifically, which is a big one. And I think we just got lucky. Where's the summon familiar? Mana, Reagents, and a Witch. Oh, right. I should probably turn off tutorials. We don't need them anymore. I At least I know how to play. But yeah, there's there's a lot of stack lands in this game's DNA, but I would say... Uh, okay, how much is that? Almost enough. We sell these, we can get the rest. And this will get us some kind of useful perk. Or a big familiar? Oh, that's different. Okay. Oh! Familiar, imbued with a fragment of the witch's power, cannot cast spells. And then we have a faded familiar. Familiar with glorious purpose, sent by the Council of Fates. So this is our fighter, and kind of works as our defense for the time being, which is nice because we're not really meant to fight ourselves. I guess let's fight the Voidling. Because we can just eat the honeyed treat. And not have to worry about it. We also get a speedy roast. Which might be interesting. Veggie fish. Okay. Put that there. Move this here. Uh, let's see. Oh, but we don't we don't have any more reagents at the moment. Alright, and this is create a building. Be rewarded. So what do we want to create? Frankly, maybe another alchemist. They're really cheap. And I like the idea of having a bunch of them so we can learn as many spells as possible. Get our first waypoint spell. Even if I'm probably not going to use it for a little while. Okay, alchemist. Another moon drop. Some more star drop coins. Sell that one. Do some more explorations. You know, I was assuming that my minions would be like little cupcake cupcake golems as opposed to adorable bats. Or whatever the heck this sucker is. Yeah, I'm just going to keep exploring for the time being. Get what I can. Uh, let's see. Letter arrives from the home realm. Oops. Hey, there's the reagent. So we have another moon drop. Actually, I have a couple of them now. Ooh, hold up, hold up. We might want to make a beacon instead. Uh, let's see. Okay, so where's the beacon spell is here? Three moon drops and a witch. So that'll let us get another town so I can move the crystal mines over to the mountains instead. So I'll move that up over here. Okay, pause. Chef, the kitchen's been quiet since you left on your expedition. Usually not a day goes by that the Bastion witches aren't complaining about some minor void incursion, but not a peep. Same for the fairies. Seems like they've also taken an interest in the ninth. Can't blame them. The ingredients you're finding there are the most uh, most excitement in the realms have seen in an age. Of the void aren't giving you too much trouble. If they do, just serve them up some pain, just like old times. Sell the letter. <laughs> Okay, move the Silver Sage. We've got some spare reagents. My setup's getting really busy. I should probably get rid of some things. I don't know if I really can do too much. Okay, uh, let's get rid of the Beacon Spell. I'll only pull that out when I actually need it. And right now, I probably don't. Uh, let's just sell a couple of these. Keep exploring. I should probably figure out first waypoint. Moondrop, mana, witch. I'll have to wait on that one. Oh. Okay, so that's kind of useful. We actually have a fairy town, which is big money and void moves against us. Welcome to card hell. So we're just going to start chucking my faded familiar at these things. Because that's 
kind of what it's supposed to be for. Toss those there. Okay, so we now have a mountain village. Let's move these out, move this here. Because we can move the crystal quarry out this direction. Okay. So it's healed a little bit. I should look into this. Ninth honey veggie fish. Oh, and the cauldron. Let's see what that does. Bring two reagents here. Really don't want to do that. Speedy roast. Wait. Grants a witcher familiar haste. Crafting, casting, and combat speeds increased by 50%. Is that a permanent boost or is that a temporary deal? Oh, okay. So it lasts for a couple minutes. Soul trainer spell. Returns any train familiar to the base form. Terrain's Recycler, which gets us Reagents, which is kind of useful. But I think we need the Storage Chest first and foremost. And we want the Market Spell. And we want the Kepri Pen. We might also want a Familiar Home. There it is. Okay, so let's, let's start with the Storage Chest, just because, oh gosh, we're going to need so many of these. Because otherwise, like, the Void Salts are going to slowly take over the entire damn base. And that's a problem. Uh, let's see. What else do we do? I mean, I guess I could sell this stack, buy an exploration card. Sell these two. Let's buy a couple. Okay, put these here. And yeah, we'll probably want that Terrain Recycler earlier, sooner than later. Bog. I don't know if I've ever made a bog before. And then the other thing we want to do... Oh, we have a friend. Or a not friend. I need to make some money. I guess since she's hasted, we might as well do that. Sell those. We want to buy... Okay, shift click. We want to buy two Capri's. And then do I still have any money? No, I'm out. Sell those. Might as well buy a bunch of reagents. Because we're going to kind of need a lot of them. Anything else that I can sell? You know, actually, we could probably sell this stack of Silver Sage for some more reagents. There we go. Okay, that gives me a lot of leeway. Everything else is probably not that helpful. And let's just move them away. Because we can now pop this quest. And not have to worry about it. So do we want to do population growth? Yeah. Because we want to have, ideally, bigger towns. I guess currently we're not using all of them. And I should probably scale that up. Just get a bunch of alchemists going. Just cruise through every required potion. That just two crystal here? Oh, that's easy. Oh. If I go into the options, Boswin Dragon cards, I'm actually going to turn that off. I don't really need it. I think we should probably save up to get a second crystal quarry just because. Uh, let's see. Keep learning spells, terrain recycler. Sure. So that lets me mulch all of these spare things into... Let's see. All of the spare lands I can mulch into... Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, boon for price. Dang it. I don't have enough money for you yet. I mean, it's probably fine. The Capri's, what do we do? Because I can sell the potions. That's worth some. We do have the Void Salts. It's a bit wasteful. Five, nine, 15. Okay, so I need five more. I think um, we don't need to rush immediately. Let's pull out another Crystal Quarry. Q 
keep selling these potions. All I need is like one more. And we're good. Something's another familiar. I liked the, uh, oh. Defeat an enemy. Uh, oof. I guess we do need familiar homes. Five crystals. Ouch. Okay, that scales it up a little bit. Because I can't summon this new big familiar because I don't have enough space for it. There's only so much I can do with it. Morning, wander and chat. Good morning. What do we want to do? Do we want to just get... We don't have any moon drops. Guess I'm going to set that up. Hope. We get something else. Oh, the Faded Familiar can cook. Not what I was expecting. I just kind of reflexively put it there without even thinking. Okay, so he's back up to full health. Okay, Familiar Home, we need five. You know what? Screw it. Whole dang mess. Because we might as well get two of these. There we go. Dad, we're going to find another enemy to fight for a moment, but at least we now have two faded familiars to fight for me. Well, shows up right at the end. Hooray. My board is hell. Uh, let's see, what do we do? Another population growth spell? Yeah. Because we want to make the mountain bigger. I think I'd like to get some more crystal quarries. Though they can get out of control. So we might not actually want too many of them. Then again, I guess it does get me a lot of cash. So I could just sell constantly. Okay, there's one. Crystal quarry, faded familiar. Cannot cast spells. Can do other things. Maybe these familiars can cook too. That's probably it. And void moves against me. Now these are going to get progressively harder as we go along. So I'm going to have to be kind of careful about it. But I do have two faded familiars to work with. So maybe we're fine. Okay, void icicle will freeze. I think I'm probably just going to have this guy do most of the fighting. Oh. Didn't kill him. Okay. Guess I should have been careful careful about that. Okay, let's keep exploring. Uh, training camp? Sure. Don't care too much about that. What we're looking for... is the Kepri pen. Which I guess we can't do. Uh, it's fine. Okay, next order of business. Let's just take a bunch of these. Grab that. Do we... Um, I don't have any mana. Let's get rid of the crystal quarries. I think, I think three is probably enough. It might even be too much at this point. What else do we have? Probably, oh, we had a random potion up there. Frost crystals. I'm just going to keep them out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, I think we're just going to need a chest for everything. Okay, flock those. This way, if they're locked, they'll specifically always store th whatever that resource is. Let's see what else we have. Agents? Sure. Keep them out of, out of the way. I think we're good. Oh, we do have a kept repentant spell. You're right. Not that we have enough space for more. 
Unfortunately, my, my base is getting so freaking busy that it, it's, uh, I'm having some trouble finding everything. Okay, do I have more? Yeah. Right of the new moon. Creates a void rift. Oh. That's new moon, though. That means a bunch of enemies attack me. So I don't know if we want that yet. Okay. They want... Some of those. How much money do I have? Just gonna get a couple of these. I don't really... I'm not quite ready to fight a bunch, but I really do need more moon drops. Okay. This is a weird fresh hell. Yep, no enemies. That's okay. Please give me a wonder. I deserve it, maybe. Yes, wonder quest. Okay, let's just move some things around. We might need to make some more chests for all of my cooking ingredients. Okay, so we need six more. I think that might be one too many, but whatever. Okay. Oh. Oh, these are good. Okay. Recursive armor increases the armor cap to double the Witcher Familiar's max health. That's good. Mausoleum, chance to resurrect, trade connections. Grandmaster Alchemist is the amazing one. What that does is whenever we create a potion, we get a free reagent too, which is really good. But the veggie fish is there. Fortunately, I need more ninth honey. I was kind of hoping I could farm and oh no, the trader's coming in to just like completely demolish my entire setup in the worst possible way. Oh, we don't actually have the Kepri in the Kepri pen. Uh, let's see. Oops. Okay, so we still need some mana, which is an issue. So we should probably do mana extractor next. Pull you out. We want to expand this one. Because I might as well have the mana extractor right next to it. So I can just feed it. Uh, let's see. Okay, put this into the storage chest spell. I have given up on any semblance of organization here. It needs three? There we go. Do Kepri horns because that's going to become problematic. Okay, right. Two of these to that quest. Welcome to the mess. Another population growth. Buy an explorer, get that out of the way. Wants me to summon a familiar. We are actually generating mana, so we can do it now. If I can find the summon familiar spell somewhere. I'm not sure how many familiars I really need. It's mostly the moon drops we want. And eventually we even just start getting infinite moon drops just by going through this. Okay, Is that there. Right, what we need is, I'm just gonna put this here. I'm gonna hope that the Grandmaster Alchemist just automatically Hoovers up all crafted mana. It does. Perfect. Okay. Void moves against me. That's not... I'm not ready for that. I'm going to have that guy start cooking. I have some capability of fighting back here. Oh, but the Void Slime is actually very much bad for me. Uh, I might... I might be in trouble here. Uh, 
Um, A diamond pie. <sighs> Sells for a high price. That's not what I need. Yeah, we might just insta-lose here. I... Oh, did I... I didn't cook up a speedy roast. Well, now we know that those combo together. I think we need to... Possibly accept some losses. Well, this sucks. I think I'm hosed. I lost. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we need to explore a hell of a lot more than we did. I think we were doing kind of fine. I think our big issue is we needed way more ingredients than we had. It's odd to think that this game has a failure state, but it does. And that needs to be respected. I think I needed to train some of my regular familiars for combat more than anything else. And that's what got me. Dang, and we we had like a good setup going too. I was just sloppy because the, the Chaos Witch can kind of hold her own and do whatever, but uh, Cupcake Witch is a little bit more in trouble than that. Okay, there's our land. I wonder if it's always a forest, intentionally. Okay, alchemist spell. Right, gotta keep exploring. I think I was doing the right thing, having a ton of alchemists. I think that was the correct call. I think I just needed to be exploring more because that's how I was getting the cooking ingredients. And we definitely needed way more familiars. So more mana generation early is probably probably key. Okay, second alchemist right off the get-go. Or right off the bat, right from the get-go. I don't know, both. I'm going to try and go faster. This time around. Uh, do we sell anything? Yeah, I'm going to sell one of the two silver sages. Problem is those alchemists take a long time. Oh, good. Letter from the home realm. I think it's the same one, though. Yeah. There we go. Let's see. Really avoid laying that early. That's part of the reason why I don't explore. I think I'm just going to sell those for now. I don't know how practical it is, but yeah, recipe diamond pie, gem fruit, veggie fish. Okay, it wants me to summon a familiar. I mean, the diamond pies are kind of useful. Can I even summon a familiar in my current state? Kind of. Get the mana extractor spell.
Okay. Crystal Quarry spell. That's the other one. Problem is I need some land. I needed a better quest than the one I got. Is my real answer. Okay, let's see if I can find something to fight. Get rid of the manic extractor spell. Oh, wait, no, we, we didn't actually make one of those. I should probably just preemptively make one at some point. At least we're getting a lot of reagents. We need those. Okay. What else do I do? Well, there's the mana. Unfortunately, no longer useful. Okay, let's let's do another. Oh, I can't. I have no crystals at the moment. Well, there's the voidling I was looking for. There's the moon drop. Do we have the populate? No, we don't have the ability to population growth. Now we do. Your timing could not be worse. Random enemy. I guess we could actually cast a healing spell at this point. Okay, and we're pretty desperate for those. So we'll get a couple of moon drops. Not enough yet. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? I guess I should figure out the cauldron. Three crystals. Hmm. I think we do population growth two more times. Because this will be much easier if my forest village actually has some space. Okay, let's just pull that one off. Put these in. There we go. Okay. So that massively increases our overall population size, so we can start working on the Crystal Quarry again. Boon for a full price. Does give me the familiar. It's worth it. Just a bit stressful. I do have a lot of money just kind of stacked around. So I might be able to make something of it. Okay, how much is that? Nine. I can get that up to 15. Yeah. There we go. That should be enough. That gets me another one of the big familiars. I wonder if I can farm these at some point, because that would actually be really nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, we don't actually have a cauldron. Never made one. And I want some gems. Here's the thing. I can probably... I can go back to exploring, because I actually have something to defend me now. And explore I should, because we're going to need a silly amount of ingredients. Just so I don't horribly die. Crystals, random reagents. Oh, right, I should move the recipes up here. And it wants me to fight something. Huh. Well, do we want to get the mana extractor next? Because rather than selling crystals, I should be selling mana. Yeah, lands can also be sold. But they can be turned into reagents, which is really helpful. Actually, let's... Let's wait. We want to get one more crystal quarry. Before I do more of that. Sell those. The reagents are generally more valuable than just the one coin I can get from selling my land.
Okay. Pause. Let's put this in the corner. Deal with that later. Okay, summon a familiar. Justine's mana reagents and a witch. So we have the mana extractor. We don't need it anymore. We have a second crystal quarry. Don't need it anymore. Gem fruit there. Okay. What else can I sell? Nothing. But I can't explore. Hopes of finding a random thing to fight. There it is. Okay, there's our three moon drops, so we can get a beacon, so I can get another town. Technically, I could do one more population growth, but we should probably have one mountain for the mines. Okay, moon is new. Moves against us. Uh, let's move some things around. Oh, I have two alchemist spells. Don't need that too bad. Let's just have the Fated Familiar fight everything. Okay. Move the planes. Any crystals, just make more mana extractors. Oh, I have a bunch of these. Herbalist Training Camp. I think we want the training camp. Three crystals, void salts, witch. And that was nice and immediate. Another population growth spell. We are running out of reagents though. So I should probably keep exploring. Only immediate problem is my faded familiar can get killed here. So we might actually want to get an herbalist at some point. Okay, so training camp. Uh, let's see, familiar and mana to create a warrior. Let's do that then. Oh, it's cute. We're going to need more of those. Okay, I guess first things first, I should probably get that cauldron made finally. Oh, I need a third crystal. An herbalist spell. Get a market spell. Because we do have a fairy village I should probably be trading with. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take one of these, sell it, and buy a pair of Kepri. We'll just exile them for the time being. And speaking of exile, just send him off. We got what we needed. Okay, there's the cauldron. Because we got to get our witch back up to full health. Otherwise, she's just going to get murked by the first foe that... Uh the first foe that she encounters and that's not going to be great I'd like to boost her max HP but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that oh we have a population growth how did I miss that eh whatever okay let's just sell those get a pair of explorers because we want to keep finding resources uh, no. Nah. Okay, move the training camp off that. We're just going to move the man extractor crystal quarries down here. Because they're going to go faster anyway. Get him vaguely up to full health. Okay, one crystal, two crystal. Faded quest, bit of money, another moon drop. Like those? Because, yeah, we want to ideally... Oh, right. I should have this going. I want to get another... 
Uh, alchemist. Yeah. Do we just get two? Do we just go kind of overboard on that? Maybe we do, yeah. Because potions are very good money, very easy, and they determine our progression. Okay. I think I'm just going to sell all of that, immediately get what I need. Okay, first waypoint, which I should probably build. And I think we're going to do storage chest. I suppose we do need the... Uh, let's see. We do need a familiar hop. At this point, we're we're capped, and we definitely are going to want more. Yeah, I want I want to keep a supply of healing spells around, hence why I'd like to get some reagents if possible. Uh, let's see. Now let's let's just have this be potion storage. Oh, letter from the home realm. Okay, another moon drop, and yeah, we already know that one. That there, population growth. Okay. Do we get rid of the beacon spell for now? Yeah. I'm going to want an herbalist. Because that's the other source of healing that we didn't have last time. That I should have probably kept a stock of. And using that with Silver Sage, we can just... Uh... We can just endlessly grow Silver Sage. Uh, let's see. Other thing we should do. Let's pull this off. Population growth. The Mountain Village. I'll have to move some things around shortly. But I'm going to be lazy for a bit. Oh, I should get rid of the Cauldron. Two Reagents. No, we need those. At this point. Familiar home. I think I can only make one of these. Okay, where where am I? There, I'm, there I am. Get rid of that one. Okay, I'll just put it there. That lets me get up to four familiars, which is fine. Because the next new moon is going to be the one that messed me up last time, though I think I'm better prepared. Kind of. Okay, I don't think we need more al alchemists. We might want those. Yeah, I can make a bunch of money. Recipe for honeyed treat. The nice part is I kind of remember all of the well, I get to uh I can I can memorize all of the Let's see. I can memorize all the recipes so I don't have to worry about them as much. Okay, we should probably get a storage for the mana at some point. Let's do that now. I'm not using it at the moment. Sell all of those. Get a couple of these. We should probably get that first waypoint sooner than later, though. Okay, it wants me to fight something, but it... There we go. Uh, let's see, this guy. Okay, the warriors can cook. Good to know. Give him the honey treat. Storage chest for mana. More reagents. More veggie fishes. Where's the... There it is. And here it is. I think this is the one where I died. I got got here a little bit faster this time around. And oh, you're not what I wanted to see. Let's see if it's three slimes again or if I get lucky. Because there's the possibility it's not three slimes. 
At which point we have some options. Oh no, it's it's this one. Oh, we're ahead of schedule actually. Yeah, I wonder if I can increase the damage of my faded familiars. The other problem is I'm going to have to figure out some other things in a bit. Uh, let's see. Got another one of those. Uh, let's see. Do we just store, store the veggie fishes in? Yeah. Got a potion. Wants another familiar. Well, no reason not to. Let's see, summon a familiar. We need one reagent and my witch. I'm probably just going to load up on fighters for now. Okay, so familiar. I wonder, can I, can I do that? Okay, faded familiars cannot be further upgraded. I kind of wish you could. I wish there were tiers to it. Like monster evolution style. But alas. Also getting bone. Okay. At least this will give me... Some level of a fighting force that I can rely on, and more space. And then after this, we have to go for. Let's see. Take this off. After this, we're gonna have to go for new towns. That might be fine too. What do I need for the first waypoint? Moon drop. Mana. Which. Yeah, which we should we should do. Uh, let's see. I think I might want to move this entire setup over and move my towns to the top because resources go downwards. Also, I should probably get rid of a bunch of the Silver Sage or just store it up here. Yeah. Because I can always sell it too. That's one of the other options. Uh, let's see. Okay, first waypoint, which I can just slap here. That reminds you of stack lines, as it should. There are, I mean, it was one of the primary inspirations for this game. And I, I'm not complaining. Oh, right. We should probably learn some spells. Terrain Recycler. That's a big one to get. Three crystals. And then my witch. Let's get rid of the first waypoint. Eventually, we're going to get a second waypoint, and that's a whole thing. But we can do that later. Okay. So what I can do is take this entire damn stack and just mulch it down. Oh, you know what I should do, though? Very quickly. I'm going to pull out the bog. I don't think I've ever done a bog. Or maybe I have, and I just don't remember. Both are possible. Okay, uh, let's see. An exploration is more expensive for this, but maybe that's fine. What we need, though, kind of badly. Well, I guess I'll do a healing touch. Oh, restores two health to the witch who casts it. So that, uh, that doesn't actually help my familiar as much. I'll get the Kepri pen, but I think it's too early for that. Healing wave. There we go. Five, five silver sage. Okay, so that's that's why it's so expensive. Oh, one health to all familiars. Gotcha. I think cooking is actually more effective. Oh. All right. I kind of miss my Chaos Witch.
That sucker was uh kind of great. Could just fight forever. Okay. F's up under. Didn't expect a live stream. I don't do them that often. Um, okay, let's split that up a little bit. Move this over here. Bring a reagent down. Okay, move that there. Okay, that heals them a little bit. Not as much as I'd like. Uh, but yeah, I don't do a whole lot of live streams. Oh, oh, we have a ton of reagents now. Actually, that's pretty good. Oh, do you not? He doesn't attack. Interesting to note. So we can't destroy Dara that easily. Okay, so that gets me two. Let's get rid of that. Keep the healing wave spell. Capri pen, we're going to need. Sorcerer, yeah, we're going to need a couple of these. Because I'm also going to want more familiars later. Okay, Wonder Quest, which are great. Uh, let's see. Radiant Beacon. Increases slots. Mausoleum. Familiar Corpse has a small chance to resurrect during the Witching Hour. Uh, extra quest cards per day. Or armor. Yeah, see, these are the ones that I didn't want that much. Radiant Beacon's good. I think we might need the Mausoleum. So I'm gonna start making that. Trader arrives to mess up my entire board. Yeah, jerk. Uh, let's see, and he doesn't... I guess he's got reagents. Those are good. We are going to need tons of those. Okay, and then exile him over here. Oops, that was all of my mana. It's fine. All of my familiars injured? Not yet. I'm gonna start storing these bones. Okay, so we can't do a beacon. We can't cook that easily. I guess I'm just gonna sell a bunch of these and explore a bunch. Inky mushroom. Cooking ingredient. Haven't seen that one go by. Uh, let's see. I was gonna make... I was actually going to make another crystal quarry. Shield nut. Well, I'm looking forward to casting some of these. What I was really hoping for was some farming materials. That won't take the damage. Okay, because at this point we can do another healing wave. Because I want to get my familiars back up to a somewhat stable level. I guess they're stable enough, but do we have the void, void salts down here? Yeah. Sell that. What do we want to make next? I guess, do we want to just make like the Kepri pen? I'll probably just make a Kepri pen. That'll fulfill this quest nice and easy.
Okay, three of those, and that also gets us a beacon, so we can get a bog. And that needs five crystals. We should start working on the mausoleum if it'll let me. Or it messes that up. Yeah, that's the problem. We need the Kepri out so we can actually start getting Kepri horns. Which we're going to need for a small variety of things. I guess I could take the train recycler off. And put a Kepri in here. I'm going to need... If I do this, we can make the rest of the Capri pens that we need, and then I can just not think about it. Oh. I suppose I also need to work on that mausoleum, which I'm not even sure how badly I need it. Let's hold off on the Temple of Rites. I don't think I'm quite ready to use it, though it might actually be really good. No, we don't have any spell pages. I haven't exactly been hoarding those. Bread of Abundance. You know what? Maybe that's good. Okay, so here's where I died last time. Let's see if it's slimes aplenty. Or if we get lucky. Because the one thing I can do is chuck my warriors at the problem, too. Okay, same thing. Is there a reagent product production speed? Oh, no, maybe I maybe I had done bog in the past. I'm just going to move it over there. Okay, so this is, this is where things get spicy dicey. Okay, so there's one. Pause. Oh. Lock that off. Okay, we have we should have enough silver sages that I can actually tackle this. Yep, we lived this time. That one extra warrior was all that mattered. Okay, get five more. Start healing them back up to full. It's about all I can do for the moment, but it's fine. That's way better than the last time we tried this where I just died. Move another Capri over. Oh. Is this you need two? We might actually be able to complete that, lucky me. Ooh. I was close. Okay, population growth, moon drop, and reagents. Right. And then it wants me to start exploring. Well, it wants me to do a kill. There's the kill. Eventually, we get the ability to actually start magnetizing these things around. Which is going to be very nice, and I should probably work on that. Shielded from all end-of-day damage for one witching hour. Ooh. Right bone familiar. These rites are kind of dark. I almost kind of wish they were a little bit more cupcake-themed. But I understand. Wait, can I do that? Yeah, it looks like it. It doesn't look like my familiars are in dire danger without a home briefly. Okay, land recycler, put that there. Five silver sage, another reagent. Let's do another healing wave. So is it possible to go endless with this? Kind of, there's still an ending, I think. I just don't know what it is. Okay, probably do another one of these.
because I'm gonna want to um I'm gonna want some more familiars I think because we're gonna keep needing more to fight okay move that there we move this Kepri pen over yeah complete that quest so where are we at we should still get the temple of rights so that's moon drop bone eh I'll wait just a little bit longer should probably also start making storage chests again Okay, and that doesn't count as a building. I guess let's make a market. Because we should probably have one guy working that at this point. And might as well do an exploration. Okay, uh, let's see. Lock that. We're going to just have this be the mana chest. We'll just put that there. That should be maybe a little bit better organized. Second bog. Maybe kind of pause. Uh, let's see. This back. One more of those. Did we actually make the market or did I goof it? I don't see the market, so I think I I think I goofed it. Oh, did we? No, we didn't. We haven't finished the wonder yet. Because we still have the mausoleum. I just need to actually cast the spell. Okay, boon for a price. Is it? It's probably another one of the faded familiars. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, the problem with being the cooking witch is we don't actually get a whole lot of cooking ingredients. I was really hoping I'd be able to farm for them or gather them a little bit more consistently. Oh, that's the issue. Okay, let's get these over here. Because the Kepri horns are starting to get out of hand. Uh, get rid of the market spell because we don't need that anymore. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I guess we probably want a familiar home. Five crystals. Because the more of these faded familiars we can have that we're also, you know, able to keep, the better. We might actually want another alchemist, too. Or not an alchemist, an herbalist. Since I'm actually going to have to be healing a bunch. Nice part is the greater the variety of familiars I have. Oh, uh, right of rescue. Two health health familiars at the cost of a familiar. Uh, some of these are really dark. Okay. Move that over there. I know there's a, a land or something that I can get at a later date. That makes my uh, familiar homes better. Like, I think we'll just have to wait on that one. Get rid of the herbalist. Got a friend. Who's full health? You are. We want to spread the damage out as much as we possibly can. Because if the damage is really... Uh, if we do spread that damage out... Oh, do we want to get the Temple of Rites? Yeah. The more spread out the damage is, the better the healing is going to be. Okay, do we want to just blood a stack of 
couple of stacks of these. Yeah. Just keep a supply, but we should be exploring hard. Okay, so next up I need mana. Okay, another one of those. We definitely are going to need some more traders, but later. Get another one of those. There's so many things for me to do right now. And my board is turning into kind of heck. Okay, who's full health? I suppose this guy is. Okay, right of wealth. 20 star drop coins. There's a lot of these rights that seem like they might be really good, but I feel bad about using them. Because they all involve... Ooh. Get another Capri. I think I'm actually just going to sell it. No! Go away, sir! Your placement couldn't be any worse. Uh... And your offerings are kind of meh. Like, I guess the extra bones might be good, but I think we'll be getting more of those. Okay. And a potion. Right. Might as well keep grabbing these. Right of the hunt. Summons a fairy city. Oh. Useful. Right of courage. All familiars get a temporary bonus to damage. Okay, and we now have the mausoleum proper. So now my minion, uh, my familiars have a chance of coming back. Which is kind of what I was hoping for. Okay, healing wave. That's about a, it's a good time for it. Let's see. Hey, Wander, love you and the Wholesome Verse crew. Been binging your stuff uh, the past week. They're great guys. Well, thank you. We've been doing some fun stuff. Abiotic Factor last week was a riot. I'm legitimately a little sad that uh, we don't have more to do in that game. Okay, we're here. But we still haven't figured, uh, finished the Temple of Rights yet, because I'm a goon. It's fine. Hup. Oh! Your timing is bad. Okay, we should probably exile some of these things, as this whole area is going to become kind of a war zone. Put this over here for the time being. Ooh, actually, we have another... We have enough space for a, another familiar home. Might do that quick. Though, I guess what I should do is probably get another training camp down. Because we have another familiar. Okay, how bad is this one? We have the void cocoons. Those are terrifying. Okay. And I know I could let the big guys live temporarily. But I think we don't want that. Uh, let's see. Do I want to put the frost crystals in here? Yeah. We want to just start storing them. Okay, that was not so bad. I guess I should maybe move this storage up. 
Harder to bring, harder to bring a stack. Okay, and we're gonna move the Temple of Rights over here. Why do I have a bunch of money in this corner? I have no idea. Anyway, we want to just stack a bunch of these. We we are probably gonna have to use the Rite of Courage. Like it's interesting when I was playing the Chaos Witch, I could just kind of ignore most of this stuff. Now that I'm playing uh, a much more like regular run, I actually have to worry about a lot of things. It's kind of fun though. All right, let's do two stacks of that. Let's heal my minions up. No, I don't think I want to do the reagents. Okay, I don't think I'll do any more healing, but at least most of my minions are in a comfortable position. They're not they're not perfect. Oh, actually, hold up. We need a meadow. But a forest and a bog can go away. Are we just getting less resources? Yeah, it seems like we're only getting uh, cooking ingredients of one variety. So that might actually be something to consider, is that I might want to stay on the lowest level and just explore the heck out of that. Because we haven't gotten any of the other cooking ingredients here. Okay, well, we've got a bunch of Kepri horns. So we're going to go back to exploring. But yeah, it's giving me a ton of mushrooms. And shield nuts. So I'm I'm gonna have to assume that if I want those basic cooking ingredients, I'm actually gonna have to go back to tier one. Huh. So yeah, oh you know, we we did get a gem fruit finally. I guess they're just rare. I was kinda hoping higher tier explorations would give me more ingredients. Okay. This is heck. It's fine. I think we might want to go for that second waypoint, though. Who knows? Maybe the, the next tier up is going to give me what I need. Ooh. Red of Iron might actually be amazing. Because that gives all of my familiars armor. Which is kind of helpful. Oh, and we can do a beacon. And I guess we are getting some gem fruits. So food is food is doable. I think I'm gonna reserve most food for my um for my witch and use most of my healing capabilities for everything else. Get the meadow there, move the bog. Welcome to Card Hell. I live here now. Yeah, at some point I get those magnet chests and oh boy, the game just changes. Unfortunately, I'm going to need um Gosh, is that the third tier exploration? It's either the second or the third tier. Oh, we don't have any spell pages. Many spell pages? Okay. There we go. And multitasking is usually not my thing because it can go overwhelming, but this is cozy and relaxing to watch. Part of it is I can pause whenever, which helps tremendously. And it's not as bad as, like, um, oh, what was it? Oh, we have a wonder quest. I like those. It's not as bad as Cultist Simulator. That was a game that got legitimately stressful all the time.
Okay, what do we want? Vault. Increases capacity. That's pretty good. Mystic workflow automatically stacks unoccupied familiars onto available explo uh, explore and deposit cards. Extra choice options when... Or increases armor cap to double the Witcher familiar's max health. So recursive armor would be good. But I almost kind of want the mystic workflow. I'll go for it for now. Okay, there we go. Move that over there. Because, yeah, if I can do the Mystic Workflow, then we don't have to worry about the Crystal Deposits uh, junking everything up nearly as hard. No. The one thing I don't like about this game is when it saves. It takes away control f from me and makes me drop whatever I'm holding. It makes me feel like a weird klutz. Okay. Did we... Oh, we do have the beacon. Gonna have to finish that in a bit. And magically, all of my familiars are currently full health. Okay, meadow. Silver sage production. Oh. Which is the one that increases my... My familiar home storage. I don't know. I know there's one that does. Eh. Oh gosh, I have way too many fairy cities. I have way too much everything. I... Eh. Oh, question. I can check the compendium, can't I? Villages. Baron's Village. Oh, familiars trained here get plus one armor. That's okay. Bog Village, Chaos Gateway, Forest Village, Fortune Teller, Meadow Village is Silver Sage, Plains Village is Mana Production. I guess it's just the village in the bottle is what I'm looking for. I thought there was an actual village. Okay, let's get the second waypoint spell. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to work to get that one. Gemforge, which we are going to need pretty bad. I have a lot of these. Food processor. Processes ingredients into cooking tokens. Okay, so that might actually be exactly what I'm looking for. Because if I can cook... Uh... Good lord. Okay, here we go. Chef. Oh. So you know how the Council of Fates loves their big fancy army? Well, it turns out that you defeating the Void, bottom of the grocery list, remember, would make it real hard for the Council to justify that army. Word of the great find is that you're making the Council pretty nervous. They thought you'd bounce the first time you felt the heat. Not to worry. Uh, nothing to worry about, though. Probably. Don't let it distract you from your number one priority, food. Immediately sell the letter. <laughs> What kind of weird goblin are we? I have no idea. Okay, food processor. Any ingredient? Any ingredient? Is this an ingredient? Into a cooking token. Wait. Oh, so this... What? I'll figure that out in a bit. Um, I guess we should work on Mystic Workflow. Okay. Uh, let's see. Meadow, move the reagents. I should probably just get a reagent chest at this point. Let's probably get a couple of these. I should probably also get some sorcerer, Sorcerer's Apprentices at some point. There we go. Okay. Uh, well, it wants me to make something. Let's do a first waypoint. Moondrop, mana, witch. 
move this over here. Okay, because yeah, my my reagents are starting to get a little big for my taste. So if I have kind of a stack for that, it's not so bad. Uh, let's see, inky mushrooms. Yeah, we got too many of them. I just want to clean up the board just a little bit. Let's see. It's the first time I've uh, been to a wander stream. Game seems pretty fun. How is it? I like it a lot. I didn't. I bounced off of Stacklands and Cultist Simulator for a bit. Cultist Simulator because there's too much going on, um, and the game was pretty merciless. Stacklands, I just didn't like the vibe. It was how to describe it. It wasn't a setting I was interested in exploring. And so it made it uh, less exciting for me. Oh boy, the Silver Sage is getting out of hand out here. <laughs> I should probably check that often. Uh, let's see. There's a storage chest. Move this over here. Whereas this one has a really nice setting. I, I really like kind of turquoises and purples and magic and stuff. And so making it kind of witch flavor is nice. Uh, let's see. Okay, I've got six six minions, so I'm kind of in a good spot there. A Cult of Simulator is a game you have to go a little crazy to get into. It's part of the appeal. Yeah, I think for me, I'm just stressed enough as it is, so it just felt bad. I understand why people like it. And it's just one of those where it feels bad to me. Uh, oof. Okay. Do we want to do Rite of Courage? I'd have to sack one of my warriors. No. We can mana reagents. And a witch. I don't know what we're looking at, but I might as well have at least one extra familiar preemptively here. Oh, uh, first waypoint. Let's get that done. Okay, do you mind us pointing out stuff, or do you not need help? I think I'm fine. I've played this, like, a fair bit, actually. Second waypoint. So two first waypoints and two Capri horns. Easy enough, I got plenty of those. Get rid of that. Move the moon drop. Move that over here. I'll do the gem forge, but we don't even have gems yet, so it's not particularly important. What are we looking at? Actually, this is fine. Like, surprisingly fine. Okay, so that gets us a couple of bones. We can get the second waypoint down. I actually do have a lot of slots for things, so I should probably, be, probably use that at some point. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess I should probably do a couple rounds, at least one round of heals. What else can I get? Culinary Sanctum. Oh, empower your witch. Or greenhouse? R produces random cooking ingredients. Oh, shoot. We have to go with this one. So we, we can, in fact, farm. Okay, so let's let's get a cooking token. Spell archive. Cross spell pages into potions. We don't need that. Sun altar. Prevents your witch's death one time. Unfortunately, I need a gem heart for that, and I don't have any of those. What are my familiars doing? I could do one more heal. Okay, greenhouse spell. Five crystals. 
Because, yeah, if I can cook, or if I can grow ingredients, that gives me some options. Big ups, this man sells the good, good stuff. And yeah, we can't explore for gems yet, because we don't have the capability. However, I can buy a boatload. Uh, we might want to find some other things to sell for this express reason. Gems are annoying to come by until we until we can get the gem mine, at which point then it's not a problem in the slightest. I'm not using this much mana anyway. We... You would think this is too much. It's not. Uh, let's see. Do we buy anything else? I don't know. We're kind of good on reagents. Uh, what else could I even sell at the moment? I don't know. I think I'll be fine. I think this will last me long enough and... Mm, both of these are really good. We need gem hearts for that, though. So do we go... Well, we need gem hearts for both. I'll go for a village in a bottle. Okay. So we needed the gem forge. Grab four. Where's my witch? Oh, she's making the greenhouse. We'll leave that for a moment. A slow, constant source of cooking ingredients must be slotted into a village. I might want to make a bunch of these so we can go, like, hella cook. Oh, we should probably also... Two of these. Where's my population growth spell? <laughs> it is it has escaped me. You know, I might have actually put it away. Time to bring it back. Because, yeah, we should expand a couple of things. And by getting that familiar in a bottle, or that village in a bottle. Uh, move these here. Silver Sage up. Uh, let's see. Do you want to move anything else? Just give that a little bit more room. Yeah. I like that there are pretty significant differences in each playable characters. Yeah, part of the reason, I, I will fully admit, part of the reason why I'm playing this right now is because um, the developer asked me, like, hey, what witches should I consider adding to this game? And I'm like, ooh, that's something to consider. I'd like a, I'd like one that does a lot more automation early. Like you're making golems and and maybe more permanent structures, but you have to actually like put conveyor belts around, so it gets kind of messy. I think that could be kind of fun. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have enough space for a gem forge. Probably just gonna do that much for now. Can I shrink it? No. Okay, so I need, if I want to make a village in a bottle, two moon drops, gem heart, potion, ouch. I don't even know if we've got any quests at the moment. Oh, we do. Summon a familiar. Oh. That's actually not outlandish. Pepberry. We are going to need magnets. Well, culinary sanctum. Moondrop, gem heart, cooking token. Oh, so we might actually want to just throw the pet berry back. Let's let's make the um culinary sanctum so I can empower my witch. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so we can empower attack or armor. Oh. Okay, so they're, I mean, boosting the attack is nice. Boosting the armor can get a little expensive, but I think we can work with it. The only immediate problem is I don't know if I can increase my overall HP. But I can double my potential. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, buddy. 
Right of Abundance on the bottom. And it wants one bone. Who knows, it might even respawn. Okay, so what that does is that increases our production speeds for a little while. They will be missed. I'm not sure about that, but sure. Okay, what do we do? Problem is what we need to do is explore. Move these here. Okay, other thing we should do is... Where's my storage chests? I think we want to start working on some of those. Abandoned library. Those are good for spell pages. Hmm. You're bad. Okay. I'll have to set some things up here. Right. That was the other thing I wanted to do. One of these. One of that. And reagents. Okay, witch's wheat. Well, that's another ingredient I haven't seen before. We are desperately going to need more storage. And magnets for everything. Probably should have actually... Yeah, we can do one more. There we go. And I should probably switch to healing. Because we're... Actually, no, we're about to get a full moon rather than a new moon. Okay, so this one gets me another big familiar. And we're starting to get at least some gem shards, just naturally, which is good. Uh, hmm. I wish for the... For this witch, it wouldn't give armor. I wish it would actually give health. Maybe? Maybe. Okay, right. Oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of gem hearts. Which is kind of what we needed. Uh, let's see. Probably put a bunch of these onto Healing Wave. Okay, next one's got all the gem hearts. Move her over there. Question, Magnet Spell, Blessed Be. So Magnet Land, Magnet Ingredient. Let's start with this one. It just needs a crystal and a gem heart. You know what? Screw it. How many magnets can I make? Eventually we can make nexuses, which are even better. But right now I just need something to glom up all this extra junk so I'm not constantly suffering. Put that there. Yeah, so this way it'll grab... Oh, did we not spawn a familiar? Oh, maybe we didn't have enough space for it. Whatever. I'll live. Let's see, pulls cooking ingredients cards. Is that cheaper? No. I'm not actually sure the point of that then. Okay, Mausoleum has returned to Fallen Familiar to you. Sick. Sort of. Okay, wants two gem shards. I'll do it. Yeah, 
I know eventually we get the ability to actually expand our board. I think we could do it via exploration. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, right. I need moon drops. Two of them. And I have no no quest. Well, I guess I'll just start working on this. What else do we want to do? Which is shielded from all end of day damage. Now let's get rid of that. We don't need right of wealth. Right of rescue might actually be kind of good. I don't think we need right of the hunt. But I guess it does give me moon, moon drops, but I could just be patient. Okay. And we want to just kind of upgrade a little bit of everything. Okay. Gem hearts. I look forward to when I can properly automate everything. There we go. Yeah, so if you notice, a lot of things are starting to f just fly around without my input. Uh, let's see. So here's the messy one. Nah, let's leave the void salts for now. Move that up there. We've got another one of these. I'll do the frost crystals. I don't even remember. Or I don't even know what they're used for. I know they're used for some stuff. There we go. Okay. So is this a stack lands light? Yeah. Or like? Yes. Uh, did we get a random witch quest and I missed? No. There it is. Fight a monster. Ah, biscuits. One of those has got to give me a foe to fight. Okay. Pick these up. I'll have to ugh, move these out. Yeah, the greenhouse is getting me a decent amount of stuff, though, so that's nice. Uh, you know what? I'll just fight it with a familiar. Perfect. Because if I do that, we can get one gem heart and a potion. And then my own witch. Village in a bottle is nice. It's effectively a... a... Artificial town? That just gives you familiar slots. So many familiar slots. So I'll have to make another familiar uh, thing. Oh. I forgot about her. Expands our playing space. Finally. So how much does this cost? 15. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, is this full up? Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, eventually we can get a vault that also solves these problems. We could also sell some of these. I mean, we might as well do that. Okay, so we just need to sell two more. I'll just start selling the Silver Sage. There we go. Blessed be, my boards is bigger. Or my board. My board is bigger, boards is bigger. Ugh. We should probably, oh. Mm. We should probably get some more warriors. I'm just going to clean up for a bit, though. Actually, um, no. I'll do this now. We'll need more magnets. Where's my gem heart chest? I'll just slap them here. Keep working on this.
it, goal for the most part is just to put a number of these rare things on the side. Oh. We already had one of those. Uh, well, guess you get to be Witch's Wheat then. Okay. Let me pull this out. Put a magnet on it. We want to just start uh, putting our various cooking ingredients into these magnet chests so they can be easily sequestered away. Otherwise, they're just going to cause me no no amount of annoyance as I'm just incapable of sorting them. Okay. Oh, why are you there? I mean, I know why you're there. It's my fault for not cleaning up a little bit better, but whatever. Uh, magnet these out. How are my familiar is doing. Mostly Hale and Hardy. We might want to boost their HP, though. Okay, these are all set. So I guess it's really just the inky mushrooms. There we go. So now, hopefully, whenever any of these are produced... Oh, it's the gem fruits. That's the one. All right, let's take a look at this. This looks problematic. Actually, do we... I have an option. It's a little dark. Right of Courage. Okay, so we're going to need two familiars. Oh, we can only do one, though. So be it. Yeah, because it won't let me do another one of those. Expires in three minutes. But one way or another, my familiars do more damage. Which means these little guys aren't as much of a problem. Okay, warrior, good. Oh, uh, we have one ogre. Pause all of this. Move my ingredient up. My witch is kind of buried in the midst of this. What we're going to need... Is some healing. Got a thorns crystal. I don't know what that does. Okay. Any of them in dire straits? No. Okay, they're healed. That actually wasn't so bad. Yeah, having a small armada of fighty boys does kind of solve my issues. So I'll do another one of those. I should probably also do some kind of structure. I guess I might as well finally get a... Um, do I have, like, the market... Oh, no, I did make a market. Okay. Uh, do we want to just do sorcerer's, uh, sorcerer's school? Sure. I could, I could use a second familiar that can actually cast things. Three crystals. Go cast one more healing wave. Uh, let's see, where's... There's the reagent chest. I should probably put a magnet on that one, but later. I got this game today. I already reached post-game with the Celestial Witch. Loved every bit of it. We'll definitely do another run with the other two witches. Chaos Witch is my personal favorite. Uh, she's very strong. Okay, Sorcerer's School. 
I'll do exactly one. I have a I have a familiar that can do it. Yeah. Just one extra that can help cast is gonna be nice. Oh, we don't need that anymore. Oh, Silver Quest. What? How much do you need? Oh, six. Okay, nice part about Silver Quest is they give way more moon drops. Oh, did I never... Did I ever, never finish this? No, we never got the one that increases our space. That was previous... Okay, so we don't need the Sorcerer's School anymore. I think we don't need Village in a Bottle, so I'll get rid of that. But let's do a couple of population growths. Then one more Magnet Chest. After this, I think I'm going to stop getting Magnet Chests because we want Nexuses, which will automate a lot of my resources. Yeah, I know I, I do have a market up here. I was kind of being lazy about it. Oop, wrong one. Because we haven't needed it so far, but now we're going to start needing maybe money. Okay. So we can sell stuff here if we want to. It gets me a lot of cash. Ooh, that's something to consider, actually. I'm going to move... We might want an embassy then. That might actually cap out really quick. Mausoleum returns a fallen familiar to you. So it just gives me them back. Oh, that's nice. Uh, let's see. More mana. I don't know. Do we just have them cast one healing wave? Sure. We've got plenty of familiars that could actually use that. Okay, so where are we at Kepri horn-wise? I want to check something. Do I just put them there? Oh, and they just get auto-sold. Nice. I'll have to see about raising my reputation with them. I don't actually know what that does. So this is just a totally regular one. So why don't we maybe make an embassy? Oh, we also have a pep berry. And floral. Oh, right. We might actually need a couple of these. Uh, let's see. Move this over here. Yeah, because if we can have one embassy, we can ideally improve our standings with these with the locals. Oh, it's got a little tie. I mean, we knew it was going to be adorable. Okay. Uh da, 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 da. right. Nexus spell, moondrop, magnet, witch. Worth it. Okay, set those there. We'll work on that. I guess that's why I shouldn't have made all those magnet chests. I should have just gone straight for the nexuses. Oh well. Okay, uh, hmm. Probably get a bunch of those first. Then... Buy a bunch of gem shards. I know we can explore for more. But we might as well buy what we can right now. Because if I can have just a ton of gem, gem shards... 
There we go. 56. Yeah, that should be good enough. It did kind of hurt my potion supply, but I think it's fine. Okay, can I shrink some of these? Yeah, can I? Okay, I can't shrink those. So I have a storage chest for my pet berries. Okay, Nexus needs Moondrop Magnets. Oh, here's the other thing I can sell if I want to get more. I'm probably just going to go for Reagents because we have, we have yet to get the Alchemist ability. Okay. Oh, toss a witch on it. So this will get us a Nexus. I'll explain that in a moment. So how does this compare to stack lands? I like stack lands, but only for about three hours. I think this is a bit better. It's a bit more focused, in my opinion. Okay. So how are we doing this? We want to switch that there. What? Oh, I see. Okay, so then what the Nexus does, just to explain, is it is our, like, full automation. Previously, everything would just grab stuff and store it, and I'd still have to manually move it. The Nexus will deliver it to places it, uh, that I need it to go. So what I want to do is grab random things like crystals, for example. And lock it. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? Mana? Sure. Actually, maybe not mana. What else What else do we need? What else do we use? I could try Silver Sage. But I don't know how Silver Sage is going to function in this thing. And then I'll put Kepri Horn in it. In the off chance that it actually does what I think it's going to do. Okay, uh, let's see. So now that I've done that, it gives me at least a little bit of something. So this way we'll be constantly making mana. Only immediate problem is we might run low on crystals. I could just turn the mana thing off until we have a stock of crystals. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just do that. We have, we have more than enough mana at the moment. Okay, you want two. Is that a faded? Uh, you know, technically we have tons. Okay, grab all those. We need one more. Er, you know what? We can sell the mana. Okay, so Void Lantern. Void Rifts to be twice as strong. All enemies drop twice as many. Eh. Extra slots or Vault. Vault is amazing. What Vault does is it makes it so that... Um, you know what? We might as well actually shrinky-dink some of these. Uh, what Vault does is everything now has uh, a thousand slots in them. So we don't have to worry about... Storage nearly as bad. I remember stack lines being too simple. Cultist simulator being way too complex. This seems like a happy medium. Yeah, I I would agree with that. And it's not. There's no padding. This is a this is a game that you can potentially complete in about. I'm gonna say like three to four hours per run. Um, which like might be a little bit short, but there's five different uh or three different witches you can play as, each with kind of their own. Um strengths and weaknesses and so the flavor is I don't know there's more to it than just uh one thing or an, uh I don't know there's just just more more to it than just like one run and then you're done forever 
Okay, do we want to move the Nexus up here? Yeah, and we can just shrink it. Leave it there. Let it do its thing. Or, no, actually, this one needs to stay open. Because we're going to need some familiar homes. Okay, we now have the vault. Storage is now solved. Kind of. Oh. We also have a bunch of these flora gems that I guess I should start doing things with. Okay. So. Yep. This wants six reagents. Ouch. I mean, at this point, it's worth it. We need those moon drops for a couple of structures. Namely, we need them for nexuses. I don't know how many nexuses I strictly need, but it's nice to have a supply. Okay. Oh, you know what? You know what I don't have? I don't have a magnet chest for money. Uh, you know what? Maybe we just build a nexus for it. Okay. Yeah, let's move this lad over here. We should probably set up some heels, actually. I don't think we need it quite yet, but we're close. Uh, all of a sudden, that was a mistake. Oh, I can go over here, turn off wor Mystic Workflow for a moment, bring him back over here. All right, so what are we up against? I guess I might as well learn a spell. We do have the Autocaster. We do have the Moon Altar. I don't know how bad we want that, though. Okay, let's take a look at this mess. It's... a bit rough. Void Bomb is a stinky boy. Okay, so how are we doing this? I need to remember to keep one goober around. I guess what I should be doing is slapping that thing and that thing and that thing. Because there's no reason not to. Okay, pause, grab a bone. Hello, bat. Welcome to the world. Time to die. All right. So now I've been empowered. Faded familiar goes there. You go there. You go there. You go there. And then chuck him into that. Rip. But it's fine. We'll get him back. Probably. Yeah, we have two graves. A warrior and a regular familiar. I guess I could also name them at some point, but later. Let's yield them back up again. I think it's been long enough. Alright, make another nexus. Everything is a mess. What do you want? Six Capri horns. There we go. 
Okay, that gets us plenty of those. Let's turn on the Mystic Workflow again. Oh, interesting. If you take one of these guys off, they stop using it entirely. Makes sense. All right. Lock that. Unlock that. Let's uh, switch the Void Salts to this chest for now. Actually, do we? No, we're going to need the Void void Salts for crafting anyway. I'll just start storing them in a Nexus. Uh, hmm. And what other structures do we want to... I don't know. I'll start exiling my, my magnet chest over there. Uh, let's see. I guess I could do the moon drops. So what other resource type do we have that we could use, that we could store? Oh, it looks like the Nexus chest is keeping this tidy, so we don't need to worry about it. Oh, you know what? Let's just put the money in there. And do we want to do the reagents, finally? Sure. Okay. So now what? Guess I might as well get another spell, right of the new moon. I'll learn it, and then immediately trash it. I'm not... I'm just not prepared for that kind of thing. I guess what I should do is... Probably get a couple more familiars. How many can I have? Okay, eight, one, two, three. This is overkill. But, uh... No reason not to, right? Let's just summon a silly amount of familiars. And if I need to summon more, I will just, um... I guess I'll probably stop... If I need to summon more, we can always just do, like, a Rite of Abundance or something. Okay, that's probably good enough. I should do Training Camp. We should get probably two more Fighty Boys. Just for the sake of it. Where's my... Or no, it's Mana. Do we have mana anywhere else? The answer is, doesn't look like it. Oh, the mana extractor is not on. That's why we're not doing it. Okay, another quest. More money. Yeah, that feels good. I'm just going to keep this stack over here. It feels a little dark to just leave them there, but... I mean... What else am I going to do, you know? I'm going to turn those off. Unselect that. We're going to move the reagents here. And then lock that again. Oh, we don't have any gem shards, so I guess I'll have to do that again. That's eh, fine. Yeah, how much money do I have? Not nearly enough. Oh, let's take you off. Okay, so that should give me a ton of money, because I think, yeah, that, that doubled the Kepri Horn's value, which is absurd. Uh, let's see, what else do we have that I could sell? Oh, you know what? I've got all of these things. I'll just sell them for the moment. Let's just explore a bunch. I should probably get a land magnet at some point. So I don't have to worry about these things. Uh, let's see. We get our familiars back. One? Both of them? I don't know. Hard to say. Okay. Just have him work on that. Uh, let's see. So this one requires 20. 
Okay, you're full health. So gem shard should go in here and lock lock that. There we go. Yeah, do we want to get magnet spell? Sure. Load this up. Put you there. Because I think I want one more Nexus. But I might want to consider getting that land magnet so we can actually glom up all this extra junk that we don't need. Okay. Moondrop, four magnets. And the witch. Not quite sure what I want to put in this nexus yet. Oh, you know what? It might be a bit of a pain, but I might want to swap my money. Yeah, I think I'm going to want to swap my money out of this one. Uh, let's see. Alright, I was going to do two mana. We want two, two more warriors. There we go. No! My board is already full, full enough. Be gone! No! Too many! Okay, fine. Uh, let's see. How are we doing on reagents? I could use some more. Okay, we're going to move money up here. Cause some issues. Move the Silver Sage and lock it. Okay, there we go. Because now I can kind of close that one off and we don't have to think about it too much. These are, thing, these are things that I'm going to be interacting with often and pulling out of reasonably often. Okay, more warriors for the fight squad. I might want to start stacking them up for the time being. Oh, that's interesting. One of my warriors just has one more damage permanently. Same thing with this one. I think that must be a bug from the Temple of Rites left over. Could be wrong. Okay, I'll build a couple more magnets and call it a day. Let's, these guys are starting to leak elsewhere, which is an issue. Okay, so more magnets than anybody knows what to do with. I guess the one thing we could start doing is cooking, maybe. Because what we could do is get two more nexuses, move all of my magnet, uh, all of my food ingredients in there. We haven't found any more recipes for these new things. I guess we could just play around with it. Here. Faded familiar, you are now my cook. What do these do together? Actually, inky mushroom first, do those cook? No. What about that? No. What about that? Yes. Okay, village production speed for limited time must be slotted into a village. What? But sickness. Oh, that. Six reagents, ouch. I'm not sure how much I care about that. I guess it's kind of good. Chef's block. Trains familiars into chefs who cook twice as fast. I, I guess. 
I've only been doing a limited amount of cooking right now, which is a bit of a shame. Get the fireball spell, which is actually kind of good. But we don't care too much yet. Autocaster, which is nice. Okay. Ooh. One of these warriors does three damage. There we go. I wish I could permanently upgrade my warriors. I wonder if you can actually double team an enemy with like a bunch of them. Maybe. Uh, let's see, how are we doing on familiars? Let's probably just put these back for now. I've got 17 of them. That's a silly amount of magnets. That's fine. Okay, Void Infection takes hold amongst the Fey Cities. <gasps> That's a problem. Okay, can I, can I move these at least? Yes. And then we have the Void Moat. So, I'm just going to have that familiar tackle it. Let's see. How are these guys doing? Vaguely fine. Yeah, unless they spit out something notably worse. I think we can just punch them down. Okay, so that one's done. There's my mer merchant. There's my merchant. Stack them over here. You were working on that city. I'll have to clean this up. Okay. Oh, we have a whole new nexus. I must have missed that. Okay, are these all clear? Yes. So where's my Capri horns? It must have yote those, but we're fine. Okay, so. Hello, board. You're terrifying. Oh, good. Oh, good. We got another, uh, board expander. There we go. Uh, let's see. And we've got this, which is kind of ill-timed for what I'm dealing with right now, but it's fine. Oh, it's only on that side. That's good. Okay, so let's let's give up on the Nexus. Nexus is Though we might want to look into cooking. I wonder if there is better auto cooking. The sad part is we might even just sell some of these magnet chests. Because you kind of don't need them after a certain point. Oh, you know what I should do? How many bone? How much bone do we have? Actually, I'm just going to preemptively bring the bone over here. I'm going to start just doing some rites of iron because my familiar has come back. Hold on remaining way longer than I was expecting it would be actually. Okay. So I've got a stupid amount of magnets. Guess I'll I'll do two more nexuses. Uh, but first, I might want to heal. Where is that healing wave? Let's 
So let's get three of these. Three of these. There it is. Because, yeah, a number of my familiars are down to, like, very little HP. And I would like to fix that, maybe. Especially because I think we're about to get uh, schmacks. This might be one of those where we have to actually sack a bunch of warriors. I'm going to try not to, though. Oh. Oh, bad news, bears. The faded familiars don't attack cities. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Take the Flora Gems. Put them here. Unfortunately, you cannot drag cards lower. So I'm going to have to probably move some of these around. Uh, mm. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. At least most of my most of my minions are in a slightly better position. Oh, the armor right of iron did not increase my own armor. I guess we kind of knew that that was likely the case, right? And things slowed down a lot. Gone, you. Okay, move Petberry. Move the witch's wheat. I think this might be all the cooking ingredients, but there I know there's a third tier of exploration. So there might be more cooking ingredients to mess around with. But I'm going to move them up over here for the time being, and I'll just have to figure out... If there's a way that I can do auto cooking. Because that would be nice. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Because village in a bottle is capped. So we don't need to worry about that. This meadow is doing fine. It's doing fine. We might want to get another herbalist at some point. We should probably also... Yeah, why don't we do this? Let's get a couple of these. We're going to actually make another town at this point. Beacon spell. Okay, move you here. Put these back. Let's get rid of the magnet. I don't think we need it anymore. At least we don't need it anytime soon. Okay, send you in. Okay, and we haven't run into anything particularly rude. Two beacons, get rid of that. It's a hell of a lot of magnets. So we might get one more nexus. I don't know what I was going to put in this one, so I'll just leave it over here. I don't even know if I was going to put anything in it. Yeah, do we want to just get rid of all of these magnet chests? We might want to. Okay. So. Bad News Bears can't do anything with that. They have a Void Bomb. Two Void Bombs. I don't like that. Gonna move Wizboy the Familiar away. And yeah, the problem is the Temple of Rights. We can only have one Temple of Rights, right? Yeah, we can. 
we can only have one, so that's kind of stinky. Because, boy, that cooldown is actually prohibitive here. It's not that bad. But going for that armor was bad for me. I'm just going to move that guy there. Void Cocoon isn't much of a worry. I guess at this point I should probably get my... My main witch ready and able to fight. Oh. Take this off. I don't know what the Thorns Crystals are going to be used for. Combined with a familiar to create a Bramble Pelt. Okay. I haven't seen that one before. Thorns. Attack increased by current armor value. Huh. Pet with, cost with caution. Wait, is that what this is then? We can get a frost weaver. Right, let's see what happens. Let's hope it keeps its plus one damage. It did. Freezes enemies. Frozen units unfreeze at the beginning of the day. Sick. Yeah, so that's what those things do. It lets me get uh, specific weird, weird typings for my minions. Okay, so where are we at? And what are we doing? I guess I might as well move these over here just a smidge. Oh. We might also want to get some more... Uh, casters. Or not casters. Um. Merchants. Maybe, do we even need them? What I need most at this point are probably alchemists. Okay. So I'm gonna get... <sighs> shoot. I guess what we also want is another crystal mine. Or crystal quarry. Okay, so there's, there's that one. And then alchemist. Because I think I want to move my greenhouse. And put that elsewhere. Let's see. Do I have anything else? Oh, you. You're not doing anything. I might as well move my waypoint over here. Kind of same deal with the terrain recycler. Uh, let's see. Speaking of reagents. There you go. Uh, let's see. So let's let's turn off the mana extractor for a while. We've got plenty. Now all I need is a fire bat. Yeah. That's a possibility. Okay, put that there. And where is... Oh, we've got a couple of abandoned libraries. I might as well chunk through. Do we have anything else that I could slot in here? Not overwhelmingly. What we're going to want to do is get a bunch of greenhouses. So I can have just crazy ingredients. I was hoping to get some more of these recipes, but I think we were finding them while exploring. Okay. That over there. Two of these. Let's do some healing waves. Because I think my poor minions have been through uh, a smidge. Probably need a little bit of a pick me up. Because that warrior is looking bad. Right. 
other thing we might as well do, keep moving some of this stuff over. And like maybe grab some of these. I don't know. Hard to say. I guess we should just have the nexuses along the top because that way when I expand them, they're not as big of a deal. This boyo can just go in the corner. Because they're we're never interacting with that one. I almost kind of wish I could sequester it away further. Sell a couple of these storage chests too. Wish I could have a chest of chests. Okay. Get rid of that one too. Because yeah, we still have the culinary sanctum, which is an option. We could try and get it to the point where my cooking witch is absurd. It's not a terrible idea. Oh, did we not explore the rune found? Oh, rune foundation. Combined with a beacon to make a, a town. Oh yeah, we still have to have a witch present. Oh, it wants me to summon a familiar. More bodies for the slaughter. Okay. Lock that away. Uh, let's see, where do we even put these? So I've been kind of keeping them up here. Outside of the mess. I think this is going to be my greenhouse zone. Let's see. Oh, we wanted more crystal quarries. Put two back. Because at this point, I can store a ton of them. Uh, let's see. There you are. Or, oh, we only need one. What? Oh, bring a familiar here as tribute. Rude. Okay, put that back in there. Get rid of the crystal quarry. There. So now we should be producing plenty of that. I was going to do population growth. So we need three reagents and three moon drops. And then you. Okay. But yeah, we could also get another, like, familiar in a bottle at some point. Just go kind of nuts with that. Ish. I think I'm going to move the greenhouse. Here. Speaking of, what do I need for more greenhouses? Cooking tokens. Mmm. Where is that? Food processor. Okay, uh, you know what? Cooking tokens going here. I think it deleted that cooking token from my hand. Oh, is it? Ah, it's slotting them in there. Okay. I'll have to think about that. I guess it's fine for now. So we're just going to move them over here. Whole mess of crystals. And then Wizboy. Get rid of population growth because we don't need it any anymore. At least we won't need it for a little bit. Let's get rid of healing touch. I don't think we're going to be using that. Ever? I also got another wonder quest. Ooh, I like those. I've got plenty of money. Let's get rid of the Nexus, too. Because I don't think we're going to be touching that for a little while. Okay, Grandmaster Alchemist is probably the one that I want the most. 
Recursive armor is kind of nice. Lunatorium, also kind of nice. But this one means that we have infinite reagents. Which is just too good to ignore. I don't think I have any gem shards. No, I have exactly two. Perfect. I'm not quite sure if that's even worth doing. At this point, we... Well, I don't know. I don't actually know how many moon drops we have. Oh, those are the greenhouses. Okay, so we need two more cooking tokens. Oh no, sorry. We don't need more cooking tokens. We need five more crystals. There. That'll get us our last greenhouse, and we can effectively just have... You know, honestly, I'm not actually sure if it's going to work in our favor. I might have to remember to come back and turn that thing off. Okay. Five mana gets us the Grandmaster Alchemist, unless the traitor shows up and messes me up. Now, I might just want to buy a bunch of spell pages. And bones. Because we kind of don't have much of either. And now we have a lot. We might also want to go... Uh, let's see, where are you? One more of those. We might as well do one healing touch. Get rid of the greenhouse spell. At some point, I'll probably get even more greenhouses, just so we never have to worry about running out of ingredients, period. Ah, piss. That is a really... You know, actually, it's not the worst spot. Boost my damage. Okay. Oh. Slight miss. I don't have that supply of minions to potentially sacrifice. Okay. Well, we've got this guy. We can start knocking those out. What about you? You can freeze something. Let's build this one. A frozen enemy does not attack back. We don't really have any tanky, freezy enemies. Okay, they, those still split. There's the familiar. Alas. Sorry, buddy. You get cooked. So that everybody else may fight and uh, fight with ease. Die for your brethren. At least we don't have a Void Bomb this time around. Okay. Let's see. Do we want to let this thing go? You know what? Yeah. I'll let it hatch. Pop that open, actually. We might as well combine these two together. Get another land. Yeah, so the reason why we want that this one to hatch is it makes a big ooky spooky. Has blades for arms. Oh. Hold up.
I can take him out without risk. And now we have Umbral Mana. I forget what those are for, but we have them now. And boy, that was expensive. We got to work on some things. Specifically, it's time for a ton of healing waves. Should probably do more than just three, but three will get us started. Okay, where's population growth? Or did I? No, there it is. I knew I didn't get rid of it. There she is. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Was I, what else do I need? Right, reagents. All but one. Because, yeah, we want to get this Plains Village big. How's our um, ingredient supply doing? Actually, it's growing. Sort of. It does seem to be depleting at least a couple of them. So isn't this like another game that lets you deal with cars and prote protect the little village you have? Yes. Yeah, it is very Stacklands adjacent. But I don't mind. Okay, so we want to grab one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we want to grab crystals. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to have two greenhouses going full tilt. Because that way we can start uh, just outputting mass uh, cooked ingredients. Hey, Mausoleum returns a familiar to you. Silver Quest, bring a familiar here. You scum. Well, I will probably just summon one. Not this one, though. This one's got a permanent damage bonus for whatever reason. Any of the ones that come with a permanent damage bonus, I want to keep. There we go. Uh, where'd that... There's the quest. You've joined my team, and now you must be... Well, I mean, probably mailed off to somebody else. A little dark. Okay. So what else do we do? What are we doing on potions? Pathfinding spell. Creates a random land card. Kind of somewhat good, but mostly we want third waypoint. Auto sorter. Resource cards placed on an auto sorter sorted into the into available nexus chests, outposts, void workshop. Void salts into umbral mana. Let's start with that one. Okay, and then five crystals. We might need another beacon. To actually house that thing, maybe. Okay, so now I can just kind of exile this over here. Oh, my Kepri horns. So we got a letter from home. Chef, I messed up. Council knows you're getting deeper into the ninth and they're sending a judge to stop you. Just do what they say. Maybe you can get rid of them by feeding them some bad eggs or something. Do they have eggs in the ninth? Okay, so we actually need to care about this a little bit. Namely, I can die. We might want another food processor. Guess I'll solve that. Oh, and a mana. Oh. I haven't put mana in a nexus yet. There we go. Yeah, that's... You know what? That's worth it. Makes my life easier. It's probably time, high time we turn that back on. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you just want... The good money. See, we've got the Kepri horns. We do also have these, which I can sell in just large quantities. I ain't using them for anything. That summons another big boy for me, which is good. We always need more of those. Question is... Can I shrink that? I can. I'll put her over here for the time being. We'll have to work on this third waypoint at some point. Uh, let's see. So what I wanted to do with this is I think we actually want to cook some stuff. Because we want some gem fruit and ninth honey. Okay, where's the cauldron? Cauldron. And we'll just have the faded familiar cook, because reasons. Because, yeah, I might as well use this to top off some of my monsters. Or my familiars. There we go. I'm gonna leave this guy somewhere. I don't really want to sack him, but I don't really need them. Void spice. The heck the heck is that? And the heck where the heck did I get it? Visually identical to void salt. Oh, it's a cooking ingredient, but it's in a little jar and tastes way better. Huh. Okay. I didn't. Nope. And we have a judge. Okay, so we get a judgment. So, have a lot of money. Oops, can't do that. We also have this guy. Prevents familiar summoning. I guess that's fine. I can work with that. Uh, da, 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 da. what do we do? Uh, right. Let's do some more beacon business because I'm, I'm gonna benefit from just having stupid amounts of cooking ingredients just churning and having a bunch of tokens because that's the easiest way i can i can make my um my head witch uh powerful i'm curious what happens when you kill a fated judge but i'm just not going to so am I going to play until I finish the game? I might. It's not that long. Like, I think we're reasonably close to the end. Okay. This will also get me some more gems. We should probably also grab some things. Blacksmith. Swords used to uh, used to increase damage. Tempting. Weaken. Weaken card inflicts an enemy with weakened. No. I should probably actually keep a stack of fireballs around. Now that I'm thinking about it. Or shackles. By the okay, combine with the fated judge to remove them. Authority of the Council of Fates. All agents of the Council are hereby ordered to cease all action. In this realm. Bye, dude. Nice and easy. Okay, let's get some more. Trade hub. We don't actually want that. Ingredient store. Sells cooking ingredients. Let's grab that. I don't know how much I need it right now, though. I don't know how much I need the blacksmith either, frankly. There's my crystal supply. There it is. Where is my... There he is. Uh, 
Okay, what else do we have? Well, we have another planes. I'll probably let those tick up for a second. So, Umbral Mana and Reagents to create an Umbral Sword. Uh, sure. I'll get to it. Outpost spell. I don't think we care about those. Dark Ritual. Permanently destroys a village. Eh. Auto Sorter? Don't know if I want that either. Neighborhood. Increase your familiar cap by five. No, gem quarry. Okay, so where's the... Not you. You. Turn off the gem forge. Oh, blessed be. The land expan expansion lady. Though, we might want to wait on that, actually. Okay, let her rise from the home realm. Okay. So we get a couple of those. We get a wonder quest, which is always appreciated. Complete those. Shrink that for a moment. It's kind of in my way. Do I want to take this one off? Yeah. What's this guy doing over here? No idea. Okay, so accelerated rights. Ooh, reduces the cooldown to two days. That's not terrible. Yeah, let's go for the accelerated rights. Because that means I can actually start gearing up some armor here. Uh, let's see. There we go. So, uh, Chef, I told I told you the council wouldn't be a problem. The governor started an investigation into the council, and won't be they won't be bothering you again. You're welcome. Unrelated, I can't send you any more letters because I'm technically involved in the investigation. Look real good for us if you actually went ahead and defeated the void. So go and do that, please. Good luck. Okay. Put that there. Uh, brr, right. We've got a big old new moon coming. I think we're in kind of a fine spot. Uh, let's see. We do have a void workshop, so we don't need another one of those. Where's the... Oh, boy. I had void salts somewhere. There they are. We want to empty this chest out finally. I'll just sell that one. Okay. Oh, you know what? I can just turn, shrink this. We're not even looking at it. Hell, we're not even looking at this one. Both of these are just kind of superfluous to what I'm doing. Okay. I made... Did I not make... A new town? No, I suppose I hadn't yet. Right. I wanted to make the gem quarry. Because if I can get that, then we don't have to worry about the gem forge anymore. Okay. We found any land cards? No. Oh. Sell that, because we don't need that anymore. Move her up here. Population growth we're going to need. Greenhouses we're going to want. We just made a blacksmith. So I don't think we need that. So why don't we... Why don't we put the blacksmith here? 
And we'll leave that for later. There. Meadow. Oh, there's there's the uh, town. So where am I? Gem Quarry spell, which... Do we want another one of those? I think I'm going to want two. Just preemptively, just in case. Oh. Potions. That's a good thing to put into a nexus. Okay, then accelerated rights. Where's my where's my mana? Guess I might as well move my nexuses over. So I can actually ac uh, access what's in them. Let's just sell that. Er, geez, anything else? Right, sell the sell that. It was this that that was the thing that needed needed the mana. Okay, I'm about to get attacked, but I think that's fine. Where Meadows at? Silver Sage production. Don't think I care. Void moves against me. Uh, let's see. Moondrop. One, two, three. Reagents. Move them there. Because we want to expand some of these. I do like this game. A game like this one, but added card collection mechanics. Uh, are we talking like kind of slay the spire or okay quick thing we want shackle I haven't learned shackle yet okay do we have fireball at least yes mana reagent spell page and a witch Pause. Oop, pause. Okay. Oh, two mana. Where's our spell pages? They're somewhere. There they are. I do actually have a bunch of them now. There we are. Okay, so let's let's take a look at this mess. Namely, I have a familiar. I have a bone. Right of courage again. So now we do three damage. I'm in kind of a good position or no yeah some of them are gaining this damage permanently which is kind of nice though I wish I knew why Let's see. Actually, we can get rid of the familiar home and the storage chest. We don't need those. All right. So we want to take the familiars that are too injured. Set that up. Bramble pelt we don't want to use. Do that. We also have one of those. I think we do want to let the big void cocoon go. Just because. Okay, and where's our healing wave? There it is. Where's our silver sage? Where's our casty boy? Cat one casty boy there. Other one's here. Oh, it's working on population growth. That's fine. The fireball, three damage. 
I want to get the shackle spell. Because if we can get the shackle, uh, if we can get shackle, we can start capturing those. But yeah, having this be a proper deck builder could be interesting where you are a little bit more limited in what you can do. I guess I would compare that to, um, uh, Roots of Yggdrasil, which came out recently. Works kind of in a, same, a similar fashion. Okay, the trader arrives. No bad timing, sir. Go away. Oh, it's just this guy again. Okay, pop him off. Then same one here. Okay, what do we even buy? I think we're good on reagents, so maybe just a bunch of spell pages. What money do I have? Not much. Oh, you know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been selling my Kepri horns. Okay, move her here. So except for a couple of guys that are slightly wounded, we are in a weirdly good spot. But yeah, having this be like a proper roguelike deck builder, I could see that actually, I, I could see that being a lot of fun. Um, oh, have we stopped getting quests? We might have. I, I might need to start seeking out moon drops. Okay. Well, what else do we have? We've got an army of familiars. We've got a giant mess of a board. Oh, no, we got we got a quest. Okay, good. I think maybe I've just been missing them this entire time. Okay. Two more reagents. Population growth. I'll turn the gem forge off for at least a little while longer. We might as well fill that entirely. Oh, right. Big ups. Now, what? Oh, I see. It's counting up. There we go. And it's the Ancient Sentinels. Where's my bat with a tie? There you are. And we do also have an unfriendly over there. So we'll have him work on that. And hello this. Oh, that's easy enough. We do also have the Void Runes, which is kind of on my list. Okay, let's, um, oh, wow. I was hoping I'd have way more of those than I do. Because, yeah, I'd like to make treats for my injured familiars. Okay, what can we do? More spells. Neighborhood? Probably the neighborhood. I don't know. I don't know if I want it yet, though. So I'll probably just delete it for now. Yeah, does this game have limited days? No, but there is a final boss of some variety. I think I'm kind of close to maybe fighting it if I wanted to. Okay, Radiant Beacon, extra slots, extra spells, extra quest, or extra armor cap. The armor cap one's interesting. I'm going to get get it. It doesn't help me too much yet, but it might later. 
Okay, where are my cooking tokens? There we go. Uh, let's see. That. Yeah, we want some more population growth. Oh, right. He wanted gem shards. Three of these. Three of these. Well, that was quick. Because ideally what we want to do is have another set of greenhouses and maybe one more food processor kind of slotted into these. Let's see. I think I'll need one more. Or no, I will not. Move it back. I'm probably not going to need more than this long term. Where am I at? I'm discombobulated. We need a we need to make a food processor. Cuz I'm going to want twice as many food tokens. Food processor spell, three crystals and a witch. Well, that's easy. Okay. So yeah, if we get one more food processor, I don't quite know the the speed at which these are are processing. But I think if we have five greenhouses for every food processor, we're probably okay. Okay, greenhouse spell. Lock this down. It's no longer relevant to what I'm up to with this here. I guess we could get one more. Okay, do I have a regular familiar? I do. This one has armor. Oh, no, that's my apprentice. I should probably actually preemptively get, like, a handful. Okay, where where's the there's the quest? Oh. He's an apprentice to cast a spell. Oops. That's uh much more holistic than I thought. Okay. We want to do get a couple of crystal mines down. Where, 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 gem quarry. There we go. Because, yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to have a, a gem heart production facility that's more or less capped out. Okay, move these over here. We're about to have a bad night. Does mean I should really start scaling up. More, maybe. Hey, good timing. It's probably regular familiar, but you never know. Are we pop capped? We're pop capped. Hold up. You can't pop cap me. I have many minions that can be sacrificed. Because I have terrible ethics. There we go. Okay, so that should let me revive the one familiar, or are we capped? Nope. All right. There's the last of the gem quarries. So we can turn this back on and lock that down. Okay, welcome to this mess. Where are we at and how is it going? Okay, it's not bad, actually. 
like a fair bit of damage sitting around, but not heinous. I'm gonna have the uh, ice familiar fight the void ogre. I should probably boost this guy at some point. Maybe, maybe? I don't actually know if he's one of the ones that gets the bonus damage. Actually, no, 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 no. Okay. Spread the damage. Yeah, the question is always is... Do we let... Do we let the void cocoons hatch? I think at this point the answer is no. I don't think we benefit from it. Let's also like bramble pelt on it. I might actually just try and... Oh, we know, but I can't get his armor to be too high. It doesn't work. Okay, so then there's just the Void Cocoons. Get a couple of these. There we go. Yeah, three health should be enough to get most of my minions back up to full health. Which means we can also start exploring the Void Runes. Huh. Merchant to... Oh, wait, no. Faded, faded quest. Merchant to trade with a city. Huh. Oh, okay. So it was just a regular one. Okay. Next order of business. If I want to make any kind of progress, we are going to need... to get a third waypoint. I'm not going to be exploring for a little while. So I need first waypoint. We need to make... I think there's a final waypoint you can get that's going to require two of these. So I might want to specifically prep around the idea of getting multiple. E, shackled spell. Pathfinding, which is actually good if we want to find some more lands. I don't think we need to right now. And we don't have any more space. Okay. So we want to do first, second waypoint. Second waypoint spell. And then do we have the third? Third's right here. Let's get rid of these because we don't need them right now. We, d we don't need the empathy. I don't know why I've been holding on to that. I'm going to get rid of the revival because we don't need that either. Oh, do I want to do this? Is this a void core? No. Wait. What's a void core? I don't think we've figured those, that out yet. I think that's from somewhere else. Okay, so I need... A couple of these. Moondrops, manas, witches. Uh, the one problem with the Void Runes is we don't have the boosted damage. I could sack for it, or we could just eat the hits. I think we might actually need more than this. Okay, Kepri Horns. Where's my apprentice familiar? There you are. Oh, and I should probably actually send somebody to fight this thing. Who does three damage you do? Let's stop that for the time being. Okay, easy completion. We need two gem hearts to get a third. Let's think. No, do we, we don't have any more. 
Yeah, I'd say it isn't too far. I think we just need the final waypoint, maybe a little bit more. Uh, let's see, first waypoint, moon drop nano witch. Ah, uh, so I need one more. Because I, th I think I preemptively want to have... Oh, you no, know, we already have a first waypoint. Okay, so we don't need more of these. No, we do. Because this only gets me a second... Second, second waypoint. We need a third. Or... We need a third... Yeah, a third so I can make a second... Second, third. Sorry, that's confusing. And then I think we also need, like, weapons and armor, which is its own mess. How's this doing? I guess I might as well cauldron up me some food. For my one bruiser. The traitor arrives. Oh no, smack dab in the middle of my army. Uh, let's see, what does he even have that I'd want? Void salts? Sure. I don't know if we needed that many void salts, to be honest, but it's fine, or something. I'll probably be okay. We're still not going to get another thing. Yeah, maybe we maybe we do need to do the hunt spell. Oh, it's right of the hunt. I mean, it could. No, no, we want to save for a right of damage. Oh, other thing I should probably be doing. Let's move this up here. Let's start boosting my... My cooking witch is damage a lot. Oh. You know what I should also do? Kill the void beast that's just sitting around. But yeah, if I can get my uh if I can get my cooking witch to be able to do like 10, 12, whatever damage, I can potentially just chuck him at enemies. Whoop, there's the void lord. Okay, do we have anybody else? Yeah. Only six. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Why is the Void Lord kind of crummy? Well, there's the Void Cores that we need to make. I've already forgotten. It was like one of these things. Void Core. Gem Heart, Crystal, Void Core. For Moon Old. Alter, which we do want. Okay, where's my... Where's my Cassie boy? Cassie boy. And then we have a golden quest. Let me guess, I haven't been selling Kepri horns for a while. Well, what else do we have to sell? We got these. I could sell them in mass elsewhere, but... It's still kind of a pain pain to sell it manually. Okay, uh, right. Now, is this just going to get me another one of the fighty minions? It might. It does. I think we might need to make a neighborhood now. So I guess we'll get another village in a bottle and neighborhood. We might might as well just make the goofiest giant army. At least she's up to 11 damage, which is pretty good. Oh, this has to be slotted somewhere? Ugh. 
I mean, it's fine. It doesn't really get in my way. Okay. Another spell. Trade Hub Dark Ritual. I built one of those, but they're not really that good. Well, do we want to do a Ritual of the Hunt? Or Right of the Hunt? Yeah. One of you guys is injured, right? There we go. What happens if I fight? Okay. I can, in fact, assault it. Sick. Apologies, fairies. I need your moon moon bits. Oh, speaking of, we got a silver quest that actually does have one of these. I've been just kind of missing that they happen. Good to know. We might actually want to do that and attack the... Eh, do we... Oh, did it not give me void bits? It might not have. Well, we can get rid of the altar at this point. Do three of these. Line that up. Let's just get everybody back up to full health. Another one of these. Plan on playing dud on stream sometime. I don't even know what that game is. People have been asking me about it for a while. Might even just be you. I just have never heard of the game before. Which is usually a good sign that I probably am not interested, unfortunately. How many gem hearts do we have? We could probably turn the gem heart machine off. Oh, I can layer these. It gets a little murky. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Right. We're making our other first waypoints. There we go. So that'll get us our second one of these. I should probably make a beacon, too. Oh, did I get rid of the beacon spell? I did. Okay. Uh, first waypoint. There we go. Summoning a beacon. We can get rid of this one. So now we have two two of those. Get rid of this. Need two gem hearts. We haven't been playing a whole lot of uh, defeat an enemy, be rewarded. Oh. Uh, I haven't been playing a whole lot of itch.io games lately. I probably should. I've just been lazy. There's too many games coming out, and so it's kind of just easy for me to stick to Steam releases at the moment. I usually get to, like, go play stuff on um, itch.io when I'm starting to get desperate. Where there's not much coming out, and I'm bored. Okay, where is Casty Boy? I think I might want to give it a name. No, seriously, where'd they go? Did I lose them? Did I accidentally sell my f casting familiar?
Uh, not this one, though. We should probably train this one at the training camp. Let's see, the other thing I could do... Eh. Move some things around a little bit. Oh, I linked it to the council quest and they took it away. Oh, is that what happened? Okay, well, we've got two of these. I think the apprentice is harder for me to spot. Okay, so we want to get you here. I'll have a second one just in case. So where am I at? So we've got this, Rune Village. We've got two of these. Did I get rid of the population growth, growth again? I think I did. Okay. Whoop. Seems like you're invested in this game. I like it a lot. It's the right kind of speed for me right now. I should probably stop soon, but I also know I'm kind of close to the end. Which is its own problem. Okay, two mana. So I'm going to need four mana, two reagents, and two spell pages. So my spell pages. Okay, pop them there. So then let's take a look. I've got an ice boy. We're going to freeze the... Lads that do the most amount of damage. Why are some of them empowered? Oh, I see. Thorns. Okay. So now all my dudes have been boosted. Uh, let's take a look at this. So who... Who you want me kill? More work? Let's see. I could even fight with the apprentice. But I don't think... Well, no. I think we will want to. Just not quite yet. Uh, let's see. There we are. So that should pop a decent chunk of these fairly quickly. Like I said, can fight with the apprentice. Okay, there's our first shackle spell. Start smacking that. Uh, let's see. Oh, what's the issue? Oh, I never brought down the other reagent. There we go. So shackle, shackle Voids lets me save a familiar in a couple of different manners. Okay, do we have... No, we don't have any more. Let's do what? One, two, three, four. There's healing wave. Oh, population growth should slot that in. Get rid of the beacon, because I think at this point we are capped. I could do more population stuff, but I think it's meaningless.
The next sort of thing I should probably work on is maybe just boosting armor. So like Bramble Pelt does a ton of damage. Maybe. Okay, one more set of five. There we go. Okay, Silver Quest, you want Kepri Horns. I have many of those. Oh. Okay, one more population growth, and then we're done with that. Magic Boy. Let's see. Watchtower, Weaken, Dark Ritual. I'll grab Dark Ritual just so I can delete it. Watchtower, also so I can delete it. That's great for the Chaos Witch. Not really that useful here. Okay, so we can now explore. It's very expensive to do so. I hate to say it, but I think we want to just fight any future fairy cities. There's no real benefit in keeping them around. Is that use apprentice cast a spell? Well, that's population growth. We don't need that. Uh, neighborhood? Or no? Let's let's start with the bottle. So we want a gem heart, and what's the last one? Potion. Game looks confusing, but cool. It's actually pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you just have to start from the beginning. Okay, village in a bottle. We've completed this. Neighborhood. So I'm going to want at least four of these. And then crystals. Oh. That sucks. Turns out for the amount of mining I'm doing, uh, it's not enough. Okay, well, it's fine. So we got a neighborhood. Familiar cap by six. Except for I think it... Really? Neighborhoods don't synergize with a village in a bottle. Bit of a downer. Actions against the fairies have been noticed. Huh. That's a new one. Okay. Wasn't aware that that would be a huge potential issue. Right, one more of those. Yeah, we're just going to fill this up. I think that'll give us more than enough familiar slots to never need more familiar slots. But I can't always expand it if I really, really need to. Okay, moon is full. Fairy warlord arrives to defend their people. Oh. <laughs> They're kind of weak. Attack plus one wound below health, half health. Uh, fairy fighters at the start of every day. Okay, where's my witch? Okay, Shackled Void, Right of Courage, and a Bone. Okay. So, this is a little bit, a little bit more than I thought. However, not really much of a worry. I'll smack him once.
I recognize that he is just defending his people. However... He done goofed it. He came to the wrong neighborhood. Okay, let's take these off. And we're just gonna one-shot the fairy warlord with my cupcake witch. Boop. Multi-gym. What? That's new. I have the faintest about what that does. Cool. Uh, it's the healing wave. I think we've taken, like, at most two damage here. So let's just, uh, heal back up again. Ooh, we got a wonder quest, too. I did not notice when that happened. But I'm not the kind of person to say no. Okay, what do we want to do? Void Lantern. Nope. Radiant Beacon. Tempting? Trade Connections. Not useful. Lunatorium. I do actually like the idea of having the Lunatorium. Okay, I have another apprentice here. There we go. Yeah, it seems like these fairies didn't get too pissed at me. Okay. Let's get one more. And then we're going to switch over to just armor. I wish the armor would recover on a per daily basis. It does with the Chaos Witch, and it's great. It does not here, and that's slightly annoying. Anyway, I'm going to burn a lot of money. Okay. So we were just going to explore a bunch. Oh, did I want to make a land magnet? I think so. Should it be L? Oh, magnet land spell. So we need a magnet and a witch. Should have an apprentice over here. Trader arrives. Uh, eh. uh, it's fine. Okay, did we buy anything from this guy? How many spell pages am I looking at? 68. I think we just ignore him. Okay, right. Other one was... We want to finish this off. So we can learn the free spell. Which we don't really care about. Fairy Groves. Make it... Oh, it's a location. Oh. Oh. I guess we could explore a bunch of these simultaneously. We... That's one way to do it. Uh, this could spiral out of control really fast, though. In a really funny way. I got another void rune. Like I said, spiral out of control really fast in a funny way. Uh, let's see. Oh, there he is. Can I? No, I cannot. I was really hoping I could... Oh, wait. Maybe that's what the swords are... Oh, 
it's what the blacksmith's for. The heck did I put the blacksmith? Is it like over here? Uh, mm, no. The heck did I put the blacksmith? Concern? No, that's the Void Workshop. Oh, here it is. Blacksmith. I'm going to move it over here. Preemptively, because this is something I'll care about. Gem Heart, five crystals. Let's see, do we have any other apprentices? Yes. Oh, and I can move the Lunatorum over here. So, Armory. Needs Umbral Mana, though. So, here's the question. Umbral Sword. Oh. I can just permanently increase one of my familiar's attack? Sick. I knew there was some way to boost him. How much do you need? 45. Ouch. Invest. Probably just grab all of these Kepri horns because I bet we stopped selling things a while, while ago. Let's get rid of the right of the hunt. Turns out that's just going to piss off the fairies. And while that's not necessarily that bad, I still feel bad about it. Okay, and we are about to have, uh, let's see, we're about to have a Fandango, so we should probably fix that. Or fix that, prep for that. Oh, we got Friendly Soup? That's a new one. Cauldron, Ninth Honey, and an Inky Mushroom. That's why I've already done that one, but I don't know. Why do I only have, like, one Ninth Honey? <laughs> What's going on with that? Okay, we can get rid of the armory at this point. So what's friendly soup? Increases village resource production for a limited time. Only one soup may, may be active. So that's not, not really great. I'll put it here. How close do you... Uh, do you feel equipped to face the big baddie? I don't know. Bring a familiar here as tribute. Where's my regular familiars? That one has armor for some reason, so let's not do that. Let's make a bunch of blacksmiths. I'd like to get it so that my minions can do a ton of damage. Damn, that... That works fast. Now let's just have this guy just kick ass. Because if I can get to the point where, yeah, this guy's hitting for sixes, that's probably going to work. Okay, same thing over here? Yeah. Random Void Ogre. Huh. Okay, that's a bunch. So how are we looking? I'm going to say fairly clean. I see one Void Bomb, but we might want to actually prep to shackle a couple. Okay, so that, that gives us even better damage. Okay, Shackle Spell, Mana Reagents, Spell Pages, and Witch. Let's do three.
Okay, Mana Reagents Spell Pages. One, two, three. And then which? Where the heck? Oh, there she is. I guess I might as well start prepping to take some of these out. Go for the giant void slime. You can take that one out. Um, you can hit that one. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? So I guess we only need two. We'll have a third, though. I think he got uh, popped over to hit uh, to land on the fairy groves, though I could be wrong. I'm going to pretend that they did. Okay. So that apprentice can fight there. That apprentice can fight there. I'm not going to go out of my way to use my apprentices on those guys, but no reason not to. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, so we're going to move the, anyone that can no longer fight. We're going to kind of remove from the playing field. Okay, we have a shackle, so let's grab that void bomb before this gets dire. Move you over here. And again, if they die, I can bring them back. I just would prefer not to lose anybody. Okay, then all we have to do is shackle the... That one, and I think we're good. Yeah, no more enemies remaining. So let's do three on the Silver Sage. Or three Silver Sage. Reagents heal. Where's the apprentice? There we go. Okay. So that wasn't too bad. That was a lot of slimes. Probably too many. What? Oh. Cool. Production speeds by 2%. Uh, let's go for rising sunlight. Do I just have it? Oh. Okay. So that's a thing. I guess we want another beacon. Okay. I think we're fairly good. At this point, so let's start exploring those. Defeat an enemy, you may be rewarded. Wow, a little late to the game, aren't ya? Oh, and that was it. We were good. Pause again. We want to have this lad. Oh, look at all those umbral swords. that I suppose I grabbed. Do we want to just have one warrior that just kicks the shit out of things? I like the idea of it, so yes. Oh, wrong one. And this will give me much needed space. There's the familiar. Now that one seems to have a permanent damage buff, so we might as well use it. Let 
Let's just slap this guy over here. I'm like, all things considered, I'll just have this guy handle it. Oh, where'd you come from? Rude. Be gone. Okay, I guess we might want to do three more heals at some point. I've been kind of stinging for no reason, and I should probably stop doing that. I know, do we just keep blacksmithing? Because the problem with the shield is that it doesn't help too much. Two moon drops here. Cool. Easy. Okay. Is it just the same thing every time? Might. Ah. Summoning a familiar. Ooh. I guess we're going to need these if I want to make the final... Waypoint. Wait, did I already learn how to make that? Hold up. How do I beat this? Unless I'm mistaken, there's supposed to be like a... A waypoint that I make. Um, let's see, sources, villages, buildings. Oh, it's at the start of the spell book. Ancient waypoint, there we go. Okay, so two third waypoints, two umbral shields, Oh, well, yeah, we've got this easy. The main question is, am I ready for this? The answer to that, I will say, is... Ugh. I've got infinite healing. I do a ton of damage. It's all the glems. Don't need to care about those. Okay. Don't know why we have all this money just sitting around. Okay. Oh, ancient familiar. Oh, it's cute. And it's really tough. I'm going to give it so many swords. Okay, which one of you does six damage? There we go. Ancient waypoint. Activates during the witching hour. Must be slotted into a village. You prepared for what will be unleashed. Suppose I should finish just chucking swords at everything. Whoop! Oh. It's because I got kicked off of the side villages and didn't notice. I still don't know what a multi, uh, multi glem is used for. Guess there was a quest there. News to me.
Okay. So that's finally clear. As is this. Okay, we have a ton of swords. I think I'm going to just start splitting them up so that each of these faded familiars does at least five damage. I'm going to play Nimrods. I already did. Put out a video on it like a couple days ago. Am I going to play more of it? Eh, when it comes out. Oh. I should lock that off. Okay, there we go. Let's bring her back here because we want to give her a ton of armor so she can't get cooked. Silver light. Untold restorative properties. Now, there's a couple of these that I just have never seen before and I have no idea what they do. Uh, let's see. I wish I'd been paying attention. We should have, well, it would have been nice to get a bunch of faded familiars that do stupid damage. But alas. I don't think it's that important. Move this over here. Oh. So this is just a permanent exploration. So in that case, we should probably just take this random familiar and leave it over here. Or just not. Alright, are we ready? I don't know if we're ready or not. I'm just not really sure if I want to wait further. Because I do a decent amount of damage. If I get cooked... Oh, you know what I should do? We got one of these. Uh, let's see. Two crystals, gem heart, and a void core. Just in case this turns out to be extremely stupid and I'm woefully under underprepared. There we go. Let's see. Anything else? No. And I think I can only have one of these. Right? Maybe not, actually. Let's see if I can get a couple of these. Oh, no. We don't have enough void cores. And that's not likely to change. Let's see. I'm just going to get a number of these warriors up. The ancient waypoint shatters as the void seeps forth. Oh boy! You cannot stop what comes. The feast begins anew. Okay, when the void herald defeats a familiar, creates a two, two void modes. Inflicts attackers with weakened, minus one attack. Removed on taking damage. Weakened spell. I should have probably prepped a couple of these. Would have been actually really funny to just um, nuke the shit out of him. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's see. We got some time. Two mana or four mana reagents. Actually, let's, let's just weaken him a bunch of times. Oh, removed on taking, taking, da taking damage. Well, ancient familiar, go beat the snot out of him. Okay. And 
this might be um, problematic. It looks like he's hit another phase. Okay, let's just preemptively start healing. What are the? What are these? I don't know. We have a silver quest. Bring any familiar here. Do we have any just like regular doodads? This guy. Is he like hiding somewhere? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Because you have my... I have like a gazillion of these. That he split into. And it's like a minute and a half before that does anything. I'm just going to clean up the board and see if there's something I've missed. Problem is they don't stack. So I'm just going to have to work around it. Music for this is great. Oh, I just have a spare third waypoint? When that happen? I was expecting to find him, like, hiding on the board somewhere, but... It seems like that's not the case. There's another one. Move some of these over, just so I have some room to think. I guess I'm going to do a Rite of Iron. Just to give myself a little bit more. Ah, the third one spawns after the waypoint explodes. I'm not seeing him. So unless he's he's hiding somewhere and doing something rude. I think we just have to wait for these to proc. Is this supposed to, like, give me a break because it was a hard fight? Because if so, uh... I guess I'll buy another one of these. I'm going to keep grabbing Rising Sunlight. Anything that happens, we just have a bunch of immortal familiars that are just going to exp um, come right back. I don't know, I'm bored. Let's explore. All right. I was going to do some spell pages feel kind of bad I never really got into the cooking on this one. We just didn't find enough recipes. Okay. Is she capped out? She must be. Put these back. I'll just have her boost her damage. Okay, so this is probably an invasion. Or it blows up in my face. The traitor arrives! Get- No, go away! Ah, the Void Herald's death signals the beginning of the next test. Oh! What? Oh! Okay. 
You, sir, could not have picked a more awkward and inconvenient time. However, I have way more space now, so I can maybe do some things, sort of. I'm gonna get, get some more damage. Okay. So, we cannot destroy the Void Hives with anything but my warriors. I don't know about the Ancient Familiar. Actually, so I'll just put it on a Void Shielding. Um... I wonder if you can. Okay, it's only down below. Where's my other beefed up fighters? That's a, yeah, he can he can kill him. Might take a little bit of damage for it, but not too much of an issue. Void Icicle, oh, has three HP. I guess I'm gonna send Bramble Pelt at it, just because Bramble Pelt doesn't really fit into my build. You can make the dishes without the recipe, but it's kind of trial and error. Yeah, I figured as much. I just, I don't know. It didn't, uh, it didn't strike me as super necessary. No, actually, let's have the familiar do it. And I'm just going to overcast healing spells. Just so I don't have to think about some of my units being even remotely close to injured. Right, let's speed this up. Oh. Swap this. Ancient Familiar cannot fight. Okay, so we need... This guy. Have I been making swords? I kind of have. Not enough, though. Well, that one's done quick. Now the question is, are we going to take him out before or after the switch? Now this one's going to output one. Oh, the void moves against me. Oh, this is... I don't know if this is poor timing or not. Okay. It's a little messy. I wonder if this is extra hard. Yeah, I probably could have timed this better, but oh well. Here we got a shackle for the void bomb. Give my dude some armor. Okay. We can probably fight the Void Cocoon. Do we have any other fighters? Oh, we have a bunch of weakened spells that are just there. Anybody else or are we golden? Yes, Envoy. Have a sword. Might as well have him hit the Cocoon. What happened? What? Are, what? Okay, that's this... I don't know what's going on with that, but it has me a little concerned. The Envoy's got a sword. He's cruising for a cruising. Okay, Bramble Pelt, eh. Yeah, whatever these cards are, probably something I'm going to have to worry about again. Actually, did they do anything? 
Not sure. Because they're here. They're clearly a thing. But there's no timer on them. Maybe it's just waiting until all the enemies are dead. Or we wait until the next day. Might be it. It's getting kind of pink, I'm noticing. If these are something I need to be concerned about, I should probably... Did the board get even bigger? I don't know. I adore this extra space, though. It is making reorganizing my base so much nicer. I'm just afraid that one of these is going to be an AoE and I'm hosing myself by collecting them all together next to all of my units. I guess the trick would be to not have my baking witch nearby. Okay. Anything else? No. That's pretty much the lot of them. The sky burns as the Lord of the Ninth returns. Am I going to fight him with a cat? Oh, it get bigger. Sir. Sir, I hate to break it to you, but you're kind of a two-bit chump. Faded quest, summon a familiar, be rewarded. I... You know what? Whatever, fine. Where's my... There it is. I probably should have just grabbed a bunch of fireballs more than anything else. But that's okay. All right, let's be rewarded, and how are we doing this? Creates the enemies at the start of every day. Well, where's the cats? There you are. Yeah, just kill it. Oh, uh, let's see. Where's the cauldron? do some emergency snacks. Why is the ninth honey? Why is that the only thing I don't have obscene amounts of? Is is it because we've just been cooking endlessly with the food processor? Only using this? That's got to be exactly the reason why. That's kind of annoying. I might actually uh, bug John about that one. <laughs> 75. Oof. He's marked. Ouch. Okay, so I think we might want to just line a bunch of these up. I swear I made one of these guys do a ton of damage. I guess it was just the cat. Didn't I? Oh no, we haven't summoned the familiar yet. Stack all these around. Okay, there. Okay. Yeah, do I not have any more swords? No. So every time we hit him... Oh, does that... Wait, where's my cat? Oops, lost a faded familiar. Was not paying attention. Oh well.
I wonder if I can freeze him. Oh. Not with that guy. Do not have enough HP. Oh, I can smack him with that. Swap them off. Now where, where is she? There she is. How much damage does she do? Enough to kill him in two shots. I know my Chaos Witch would have made this even funnier. But alas. Smack the boy with cupcakes. Or maybe the spoon. I think I got him with a spoon. That was pretty good. I am very happy with that run. I I wish I had done a little bit more with the baking. Oh, healing torrent. Silver light, reagents, and witch. Three health to all familiars. And we also what what are these? What what is this? What did I do? What? Lighthouse spell. Foundation? What? So each of these is a gem heart and a moon drop. Please help me have moon drops. Oh, good. I am curious to see where these go. So let's... Let's finish this off. Okay. Where's the... Beleaguered Apprentice, and then the other Apprentice. Okay. Yeah, welcome to the post-game. I am didn't realize we'd have a post-game. Well, that was a pretty solid boss fight. I actually had to try for a moment. What the hell? Okay. Spire come- oh no. Okay. I think... I don't... I don't know if I want to do this. I mean, I could, but it's probably going to take a while. Okay, gem heart spell page. And so I don't think I'm going to do this on camera. Because I think that's going to take a bunch of time. I'm going to create a couple of autocasters. We'll set it up. Yeah, welcome to the mega project. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, does function as a magnetic chest at the very least. Okay, so I'm just going to put these here. At least we have all of the extra slots. Lighthouse core assembler. Let's see, I have a couple more familiars, right? Oh, no, that's this one. Okay, where's my... here, Bog Village. Do we have any other regular familiars, or do I need to get another one? I think we need to get one more. I am out of mana. I am oom. I mean, makes sense. I haven't exactly been doing any mana crafting this entire time. I wonder if we still get attacked by void people, or void foes, at the end of this. Okay. Light out house assemblers. I'm just gonna kind of put these over here. We might need to do an amount of things. I'm Now I'm just really curious what's at the end of this. But again, should not do this on camera. I just want to I just want to get the whole thing set up so I can be like, yeah, I'm going to leave this running and then we'll figure out the actual well, we're going to figure out 
what it is afterwards. So this is foundation, lamp, spire. I'm going to swap these for the sake of it. Just so everything is neat and tidy. Okay, so that's the lighthouse spire. Put this here. Lighthouse core. Lighthouse lamp. Yeah, so we're probably going to have to scale a lot of things up just to be able to complete these. Uh, for starters, we're going to need apprentices of plenty, and it looks like we're going to need a silly amount of gem hearts and crystals. So I might want to preemptively get like a bunch of crystal quarries. Because otherwise this could be a problem. Maybe. I don't know. We, we will see. I'll probably uninstall a couple of things and move things around. I, we'll see. Or I can just leave the game running. That's the other thing. Oh. Okay, I'll move this up a little bit. It says it functions as a magnet chest, but it's not. Uh, it's fine. Let's get one nexus somewhere. Nexus spell. Because I should have a bunch of magnets. That's an outpost spell. What? What? I think I grabbed the wrong one. I do have another apprentice, though. I don't know if that was one that I had and just lost, or what? No, that's probably the new one. Uh, let's see. And good. I have enough mana that we can get one more. I'll summon one more of these. Okay, so Nexus needs one moon drop. And then four magnets. There. Medium comes back. Or not medium, uh, minion comes back. Wait, what? Really? Wait, oh. Oh, hold up. Oh, ye gods. I think I screwed this up. These are assemblers. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so we don't need this. We don't need this. What is the one I don't have yet? This one. Yeah, must resist. Yeah, I was going to say. All right. Uh, You know what? I'm going to keep them just in case this might still, I might still be able to use this. And here's the last one. Okay, so now we have the foundation, the light. Okay, so we have we have all of the individual components. I guess, yeah, I'm just going to take these off. We'll bring this down. Mana five. Okay, so really the issue is we're going to need more mana. All right. Well, now I know what I've done wrong. 
I could speed this up, but I think I'm just gonna let this roll. So, moon is full, boon for a price, oh boy. I think this is the end of the stream for now. I really enjoyed this, uh, and we're clearly still kind of on a victory lap of sorts, but I also recognize that that's, it's gonna take a long time for me to get all of these requisite resources. And rather than uh, sit through this entire thing, I think we should just call it quits, say our goodbyes, and uh, go eat dinner. I'm hungry. Uh, but this is a lot of fun, and I don't know if there's something really important at the end of this uh, that's super hyper cool. I hope some of you guys find it uh, when you pick it up and play it yourselves. It, Witch Hand is by and far one of my favorite games that I've played this year so far, and I know we're only like a month and a couple days in, but it's still one of those where it's like, I can, I can say it safely. I like this game, and I can't wait to see where this goes. And I know the developer is going to be adding more to this along the way. So I'm, I'm hoping to see more witches and more various ideas that are going to be really cool. Oh yeah, we're actually clearing this pretty quick. The only problem is the lack of mana. Good to know. Uh, but anyway, for now at least, if you guys like this video, wait, what am I doing? That's my usual U YouTube outro. <laughs> I can't do that. If you like the stream, thank you so much. I will uh, try and do more of these. I think we're going to start doing Library of Rowena finally. Uh, so that'll be kind of fun. But my schedule is probably going to be chaos as usual just because I have so many other things uh, to do constantly. And so it becomes a bit of a problem. But uh, thank you all so much for, for joining me for this. And uh, see you next time.